welcome everybody to a, another special episode of Sifter Plays. Uh, my name is Mitch and I am playing Lens Island uh, this evening. And I'm joined by two of the developers, Julian Ball and Daniel Ang. They're on that side of the screen. They're up there. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having, Thanks for having us. us. Hello. <laughs> um, okay, so now, uh, because of journalistic integrity and things like that, um, we do mm -hmm. understand that, that we need to acknowledge and disclose that Daniel Ang has done unpaid work uh, for Sifter in the past, and now we are interviewing him about a game that he's developed. Uh, okay, so that's <laughs> the housekeeping out of the way. We are now above board. Everyone understands that. Um, we also own a gambling website, too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but uh yeah let's just get started uh so let's start by picking a zone um i didn't really i haven't really played yet daniel told me that i should experience it first with you guys so where should i start it's up to you wherever you click, want click right. on one, see what happens okay i like i like the sound of arcadia Jump planes okay. if there was a jump scare there i would have been very i would have been very cross <laughs> um okay masculine does len wear shoes no or oh, definitely not definitely not no <laughs> yeah thank you. that that's the correct answer for that yeah. question too yeah <laughs> it just feels right you know oh no oh no this character creation maybe i should have done this off stream <laughs> You're going to spend like 20 minutes here. I'm going to be here. Nope. Okay, let's just quickly get him in pants. I feel like everyone's guilty of this, like playing a game and spending more time on the character than anything else. And then yeah. you, yeah. you play the game for 10 minutes and you get bored and go do something <laughs> else. Yeah, or it's like Skyrim and it's first person. You can't see your character anyway. Is that yeah, why there are only true. four options? Um, Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> somewhat, somewhat. But we will continue to expand upon the options over time though i feel nice. like there's something i don't know there's something nice about having limited options Although yeah probably players probably don't think that though i don't know like keeping it all like a tight-knit theme and like a i don't know like just just having nice clothes that all look good and not getting too wacky with it in mm. my opinion is like a good way to go about it like keep it tasteful but yep. then have enough where people can be different and sort of embody their, themselves or whoever they want to play and can you modify it through the game or is that my set like that? Yeah, no, you can modify it. There's a, I actually probably shouldn't give anything away. You oh, can okay. You it at some place somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> You'll figure it out. Nice. All right. So um, I'll just mention that I selected the uh, mouse option. Play Lens Island. Oh, okay. Yep. yep. Uh, like the PC master race option. Yep. But no, there's, there's mouse and then there's WASD. So there's yep. definitely two very different modes and they definitely change the way that gameplay so the interacts <gasps> a little bit each time you attack yeah. nice i was trying out combat with wasd it, like, yeah it's just a lot harder i think like moving around feels more natural but i guess a lot of people don't play mobas maybe that's why they're not used to it and yeah it's it's definitely a background thing if people are used to mobas or people are used to the stardew valleys and all of that mm -hmm. and then a lot of wasd players say oh this is amazingly better i don't know how people use mouse and then the mouse players go this is amazingly better i don't get how people use wasd <laughs> and it's just sort of like that and there's very very little in between which i've discovered so i'm on the mouse fence but i can yep. definitely understand the wasd fence and i can definitely so, understand the controller fence too so before we go any further i probably should have asked you to say what is lens island it's 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 a game of your own creation you've been working on it for a number of years um how would you describe it yeah, I never know how to answer this question succinctly and quickly to people. But, like, it's an action-adventure game. So it's a game where you can build a home, live on an island, make a life for yourself, and then go fight stuff in the dungeon. Nice. So it essentially is, like, you know, started off as my amalgamation of all the parts that I love the most in games and then, like, sort of jamming it all into one game. Uh, and then one game that, you know, I try to make look nice and pretty and just feel very tactile and rewarding and give a lot of feedback to the player to try and like really encapsulate all those mechanics in like a tasteful way it's like my attempt at doing that and uh and we're getting there you know i'm pretty proud of what we've done so far i think we've tackled it in the right way 
and yeah we'll keep expanding on that upon that over time to just really dive like a lot deeper into each of those mechanics oh and you've already got an achievement oh getting wood getting wood classic <laughs> i just realized i was using the wrong tool to uh cut down a tree um yes they're gonna be mad in the comments yeah <laughs> they're gonna be raging in the comments not like Should minecraft be. you can't just use whatever you want just punch uh, it have you worked out the critical hit system yet? Oh, I, that was explained to me in a splash screen, and then I ignored it because uh, I was talking to you. But uh, run it by me. So, so, so you'll see. Yes, yeah, the scene is. I guess yeah, you didn't see the screen, which, which by the way is what everybody does. I made those <laughs> nice tutorial prompts, and everyone just clicks by them instantly, and then wonders why it takes so long to chop down trees. And I go, so, well, you bought this upon yourself. So there's a there's a white circle. Okay, you actually get you're yep. getting it pretty good. I think I get it. So I think it's pretty easy to understand. Um, oh, you get hit by the tree as well. Oh. You just you time your next click to that white circle, expanding, yes. that grid indicator, and then you can chain together hits and get sort of bonus damage, bonus resources. And this is throughout the game. So this is for resource gathering. This is for combat. Any weapon that you can swipe will have this crit system and you can chain mm -hmm. together any string of attacks or abilities or really anything um, and, and use that to your advantage. So it's sort of yep. like rewarding um, and a bit more... Um, I guess methodical and sort of get the timing right rather than just yep. spamming click. So I did notice, so you mentioned I got hurt by the tree. That's something that doesn't happen in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's funny. It, it never was like that originally, but then when I played, when we'll part of the Steam Next Fest, oh. I was actually streaming it. And then I got a bunch of people in the comments saying, why don't the trees hurt hurt you? Like this this game sucks. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, I I could do oh, that. Oh no! Hard. I didn't think you yep. wanted to be killed like even more. So then I added it in, and then people love it. And then now, literally every time I see someone stream the game, yeah, and a tree falls on them, they get hurt. They have a positive reaction to that. Go, okay, the trees hurt you. That's so cool. Yeah, I just find that so interesting how people like that now. Um, because my initial thought was people wouldn't like that. It'd be annoying. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe Valheim <laughs> sort of skewed the waters as far as being damaged by your environment because yep. that's pretty heavy as far as that's concerned. So I think people, are, I don't know, they like it now. Yeah. So we will listen to the people. We'll give them the damage dealing trees. <laughs> All right. It feels a lot more tactile, I think, as well, when, when you're expecting something to happen into the world and it reacts to your input. Mm. Yeah, I, I get that. It, it just feels like more lack of a better term like real like people feel like if it, it it's more completed sort of mechanics with like a chain of events that's happening we actually yeah. originally had trees where if a tree would hit another tree it would cause that other tree to fall down as well mm -hmm. you oh, could yeah. sort of like line up domino trees and get them all to fall it, it led to some other issues and it just led to too many like holes in gameplay where it's like okay you know a minus one tree yeah and then i had like take down half the forest and get a thousand <laughs> wood so yep. <laughs> we had to cut that, but I would love to introduce some more little bits like that over yep. time that hopefully don't break the game. Oh, managing a backpack. Better read some of these. Okay. Drag unlocked items onto your hotbar. Okay. Yep. Makes sense. Any equipped hotbar items are automatically sent to your chest for storage. Ooh. Okay. The cloud. The cloud for your the cloud, cloud storage for physical things. Yeah. I love it. Um, and uh, all your resources are accessible from your backpack at any time. Yep. Okay. Equip food items by dragging them directly from your backpack into your hopper. Classic. Love that. All right. All right. This is definitely the perfect way to start Lens Island, by the way. It's pretty much what everyone does is yep. just start hitting trees and wandering around aimlessly until you sort of figure out your bearings and, and mm -hmm. what the next heading is. I feel like it's pretty standard for most survival games, right? Yep. It's just smack a tree figure it out from there oh. figure it out if the world's killing you or not you know yep sort of, i've done some um, swimming That's good yeah yeah exploring a little bit so um i've been passively watching the series alone on oh, sbs okay. to uh prepare for yeah. this a little bit and uh yeah I've I've really enjoyed that series. I've I've actually seen all of it. I've seen every. Oh, season. you would! I loved it. <laughs> but <laughs> Frank, at least Lens Island's nowhere near as harsh as that. I, I, yep. I feel like Lens Island is sort of barely a survival game. I wouldn't mm -hmm. really class this a survival game. More of like a open world crafting adventure game. Yeah. Because you can't you can't die from from any of the survival mechanics. Yeah. Like they do they do benefit you. 
but there's no sense of like urgency like when you're just trying to exist within the world there's not like all of these timers that are you know constantly oh down. bees <laughs> no not the bees <laughs> it's josh bush in this game now Oh, Josh said, Bush. No, for, for those of you not for those of you not familiar, Josh Bush makes Hive Time. Hive Time. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, yeah. I, I love how as I was telling you, our game doesn't kill you; you get attacked by bees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bees. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there are oh. bees. There are bees. <laughs> I think I'm very good at this critical hit crit. thing. <laughs> yeah, well, once you get it, you'll get it. It's mm -hmm. like this. It's like this really deep, like visceral feeling, and you just sort of get timed into it, and yep. you just you just do it. I I've heard a lot of people say that they listen to the audio cues more than anything. Like they just go yeah, off the sound. Yep. Oh, here we go. Shout out to Lars, by the way. Yep, all of our amazing sound effects and music, Ooh, yep. all done by Lars. He's uh, yeah, does some amazing work. It's I, I would hate to think what Lens Island would be without the music and, and audio that we have. It would just be me, like downloading really dodgy sound packs from the internet and just like, yeah. chucking them in audacity trying to make them good enough which I, which some of the sounds are i feel like probably i don't know maybe 50 percent of the sounds in lens island i've had to try and mash together myself and done my best and then usually lars ends up going over them and going julian like what have you done here this is terrible <laughs> and then he makes a better version of it so yeah so in terms of sound design it is it the same axe hit sound every time, or do they do they cycle through a couple of different hits? It's a few hits. It, it's actually we. Oh, I got we, hit again. <laughs> yeah, I think the trees um hitting your ankles. You're also full yeah. of wood, so now you're just chopping down trees. For yes, I am. Now I'm just irreparably <laughs> damaging the environment. I probably should do something um more constructive. Oh, hello. But, uh, yeah, yeah there, there are. Yeah, here's um here's something new. Yeah, yeah. One of the perfect residents, one of, a once perfect residence for an experienced fisher has been lived in many years. With some love and care, this shack could be home to a fishing friend one day. Oh, I need that. I need that to happen. Mm. Yeah, so we, we actually, yeah. I actually recently added in that text box because um, there's a few things throughout the world. As it is an early access game, we're sort of alluding to future content and uh, that fisherman's hut is one of those features of future content that's going to be pretty fun for people to sort of experience okay so it's, it's not too far out um but there are some other places around the island which you can um you know actively edit destroy and do some stuff to as well so that there's lots of stuff just to just to explore and figure out but um yeah like about the sounds i definitely think we went overboard to a certain extent with some of them like the axe sound there's a number of different wood hit sounds when you hit a tree and then if you hit a rock, it plays a slightly different sound. Um, but then if you hit a rock with like a sword or an axe or a pickaxe, they're all completely different sounds of like metal hitting stone. And then if you hit the axe with clay, that's again a different sound. So we have like each weapon has a sound and then each weapon has a sound that is unique to what surface that weapon is hitting. Mm -hmm. And we we just ended up getting really deep into the sounds for some areas of the game. Yep. I think it was like me and Lars and I sort of brainstorming one night and we just got a bit too involved. But look, it's there and it's in the game. And I definitely think it helps with that sort of like tactility and that feeling like, I, I guess what Daniel's talking about, like the environment's reacting to you and it feels a little bit more in depth. It feels like you have a deeper connection to your surroundings. I think that's something I really realized about making Lens Island is how small little things like just the, the sound of an axe hitting clay and it making a unique sound that really does sound like those two materials hitting each other would make can really sort of sell the player that they're there in reality and they're encapsulated by this environment. And sometimes all it takes is like a tiny little particle effect or a tiny little sound or just little bite-sized bits um, that you sort of inject into the gameplay that can sort of like sell that vision and that dream. And you don't necessarily need like a AAA budget and all this crazy detail to sort of sell that if you know where to put your resources in you can make these really nice sort of bits of gameplay that just give you that feeling were you ever tempted to like try and make some of these sounds yourself like just like go out and swing an axe and record it <laughs> um yeah I, I had a i had a bit of a go to make some myself lars made a bunch of them though like whenever you place a pot plant in the game um like lars got you know, a bunch of ceramic pots from his backyard and recorded like dropping them on the ground. And yeah. like a, a, a lot of the sounds he's, he's just made in his own bedroom, in his own backyard, just making 
foley you know sounds like I, I don't know what he does he probably has a bunch of props and weird stuff in his, <laughs> like, in his cupboard that he makes all his sounds with yeah so he's been quite creative and then usually if i'm the one making the sound it's far less creative and a lot more rudimentary <laughs> and i'll just sort of be smashing stuff together and hope it sounds good enough for now um I, like yeah I, I don't think it's a single a, anything that sounds good you can pretty much um count on lars making that <laughs> right it's getting dark we don't get monsters at night do we I'm not sure. Maybe. Not, but... Oh god. <laughs> Maybe. Oh no. <laughs> but, uh, I'll keep you in suspense. So. <laughs> <laughs> not not where you are. Not where you are. You'll be yep. you'll be just fine on the island. And that really is something that I guess is core to Lens Island too, is the fact that this is like your your safe space and there's no sense of urgency. Yep. There's nothing that's really forcing you in one direction all the time. Like when you're on the island, it's just sort of your oasis. You can build, you can farm. You can just chill out and just sort of enjoy the experience and not to be pushed along. But then there's other elements throughout the world and the dungeons and the caves and other areas of the game where you have like really high tension and you are being pushed along. There's a sense of urgency. Um, and, and, and that's sort of like was very important to us to keep that duality and that sort of like segmentation between those. Because uh, there's nothing worse than just like you're just trying to make a house and then there's like a horde of zombies just clawing at you on your first night in the game. And you're just like, oh, like, man, this sucks. And you just try to get one thing done, move on to the next. Like, it's, although that has a, a really, you know, it has its moments, that type of gameplay, when it's only that and you're being bombarded with that, it can get a bit much. So this was our way of segmenting that. Uh, by the way, Mitch, uh, Gianni's just saying our mics need to go up a little bit. I have Julian boosted myself. you to the max. Okay. Yeah. Is this so matters not? Yeah, a, I'll sit a little bit closer. My yeah, no, I think it, I think it's on my end. I've I've tried my best. This is like we're kind of using a new program today uh, to make this show. So um, hopefully that would have fixed it. I have boosted you to two hundred percent. Okay. On, great. Uh, great. Okay. If I if I may, um, yep. you might want to get some stone to break yep. the foundation. Oh, right. Is that what I need? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So if you if you hover over any of the building items, it shows you um, what you have and what you need. Yep. So there's stone and then a little bit of limestone as well for the foundation. Yeah. I feel I like was... I'm too focused being a game developer right now and I'm not focused enough on <laughs> being a helpful friend. That's okay. I'm just like assessing, like, oh, okay. So he hasn't gotten stone straight away. Like, what could I do to like facilitate that, you know, like better in the future? I'm just like analyzing everything you're doing because. There's something so special about seeing someone play Lens Island um, with, with no prior experience, like mm -hmm. sort of seeing their interpretation of the world and the, the decisions that they make. And it's like it's like liquid gold for me as a game developer because yeah. I get to use that as, as, you know, information that I can then tailor the world and then make sort of changes to. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, the, I try not to help you. I try, to, I try to help anyone that I want yeah. to play Lens Island, even if they're having a really difficult time. Well, as, there has been as, a few streams that I've snuck into, though, and been like, hey, if critical <laughs> hits exist, if you want to, you know, mine that tree a little bit quicker. <laughs> Epivorous says, uh, I reckon don't get any stone, just hack down every tree. Yanni, <laughs> that is very... How very British of you. Uh, is, <laughs> I think the only thing you could make of just wood is... Well, you need, you need fibres, but you can yep. make farm fa uh, farms. Um, the wooden ones with only wooden fibers. So you might not build a house with that strategy, but you could build a massive farm yep. and then just sleep in your farm, which is always a strategy. If you want to do that, you can. That's up to you. A question from Epivorous in the chat. Does, do the trees come back after you cut them down? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So oh, every nice. mineral and resource you see on that island and even off the coast will all, um, will all respawn after time. They all have different sort of uh, respawn times. And actually do like this really cute wiggle into existence. So when a tree's growing, <laughs> instead of like popping, it sort of goes like and like sort of wiggles up. Yeah. Uh, which I definitely didn't need to include, but I just felt like it, so I did. <laughs> but yeah, so everything or you won't have to worry about um creating a barren island or or running out of resources. That, that mm -hmm. and that sort of feeds into this idea of like this island is um you like really connecting with nature and it is your paradise and you're sort of living at one with the island rather than mm -hmm. destroying it I, I sort of like 
the, the sort of the thought that you're sort of recycling the island, like you're chopping down these trees and then making it into a wooden home, which is, you know, you're just sort of like <laughs> rearranging the wood into different, <laughs> you know, yeah. structures that you can now live in instead of being a tree. And it all just replenishes and it all stays stays the same. So I, I, do, I really, I sort of like to steer away from this fact that you sort of come to this new land and then you just like pillage it and kill every <laughs> living creature and you just like make it this barren wasteland and then move on to the next one. Mm-hmm. I've, I've always sort of like, this thought it was a bit sad in video games. So I we're trying to steer away from that to an extent with yep. Lens Island. So there's, there's no hunting in, in the game either for that specific yep. reason. Um, we have thought about including fishing in uh, in a patch coming up soon though so yep. that's probably as far as we'll go okay what about farmed animals is that like a thing in I'm not sure. like most likely not because again like yeah we i don't know like i feel like let lens well at the moment lens a vegetarian not yeah not that i'm a vegetarian I, I never really thought about len being like this very like nature-centric person it's just sort of how it ended up being so um yeah like i just yeah, like we've had a lot of people asking about farm animals and it's something I'm always open to. And we're definitely open to like we'll include pets at one time, but the yep. pets aren't really what people might expect. Yep. Um, so the pets are all going to be airborne. So you can have like a hive of bees hanging off your backpack and like <laughs> fireflies that like chase you around. And like you can do these pets sort of can um, assist you in your ventures a little bit, yep. whether it's lighting up the caves or a swarm of bees attacking some enemies for you. So. Th- Maybe we could add beekeeping into the game. That was one of our early ideas mm. is sort of adding in some like some more like interesting ways because like I feel like every game you play has a pig pen and chickens and like yep. cows and like the same sort of stuff. I just I, I know it's just fun to be different sometimes. And also like they're all pretty much very similar. Like the way that you would interact with a chicken or a cow or a pig inside of a game are pretty yep. much the same experience, but the way that you could interact with a beehive is very different that people might not be used to and it could sort of introduce something unique that people haven't experienced before yeah how do i go about getting light you have to make a torch but step one before making a torch is getting something called coal right and it's going to get a bit darker (laughs) to get coal (laughs) yeah it must go darker before it can become lighter yeah um so there is it there is a cave somewhere on the island i'll Mm -hmm. I'll nudge you in the right direction so if you kick if you go up to the right yep um you'll you'll come into a cave and then everything from then that that, that's on you and that's not on me anymore so (laughs) if you die and reset that's (laughs) yeah so uh if you pretty much just follow the it's hard to see but if you follow to the straight to the right there's sort of a pathway that winds up to the right all right maybe i will stay out here for a bit I'll just start building. Do people like the beaches? You know. Yeah, it's, here's um, good. Nice spot. Area. It's free real estate. Everything. <laughs> yeah, the, the whole of Lens Island free real estate. Yep. If you press Control and scroll up to, you can like change the the level of the foundation. Yep. Yes. Not yeah, that's great. Vivra says, uh, the pets take Luke back to your house. Yeah, like that's Nintendo. A suggestion. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be cool. That would be pretty cool. I like, I like the idea of that. Yeah, and like I think that's sort of like the right way of thinking, and that's the way that I would like to approach mechanics like that in the future is, is sort of thinking about them in a more of a significant way rather than just like pretty-looking animals that um follow you around like thinking about how they could actually add something fun to gameplay in like a meaningful way um and something like that would set would be really cool well this is a a bit more of an abstract style house (laughs) i love it yep oh no so mel may is asking what kind of plans do you have for the main town area going forward yeah we have a lot of plans The, the town area is probably one of the most i guess um I wouldn't say unfinished, but it has like the most amount of potential <laughs> as far as like levels that are sort of in the game. So um, the town is like a trading hub. You go there to trade with villagers and have a chat to them and you can play blackjack and buy weapons and all sorts. Mm-hmm. Um, and we, I just want to, con- we will continue to sort of make that a more like lively experience. So there'll be questing. That will be a really big one. There'll be a questing board in the middle of the town and you can actually help out all the villagers and do quests for them. 
um, which take you all around the world and doing all sorts of interesting tasks and sort of piecing together stories. Uh, and then we'll continue to sort of add more and more NPCs and more events and just interesting, fun things to make it really feel like this sort of living, breathing town that, that's sort of ever changing. Um, so, like, I'm really excited to see where the where the town goes in Lens Island because I would I would love to just really make it like this sense of community um, when you go there and it's like you know something new is always around the corner and there's always interesting things that can happen that you're not sure about. And uh, yeah, so there's there's lots planned for the town. And it's all centered around, it's all centered around the people and how you interact with them and what you can sort of how you can trade with them or do quests and all sorts of stuff like that. And then of course, like more details and more just like fun stuff to interact with and and fun things to do. You know, we'll probably add some more mini games as well and and, and stuff like that to sort of occupy people. Uh, Mel Mayer uh, says, uh, ask a question: Are there any plans for multiplayer or even? Trading between players. Yeah, so um, the, the game will launch as a single player, though there's definitely, like, it, it's my dream to make it multiplayer. Um, it's, it's always been in the back of, our, back of our mind through development, though we just wanted to focus on making a really good single player experience first. And then once we sort of nail that down and we're really happy with it, we can then start sort of merging it over to multiplayer mm -hmm. and sort of in the back end as far as the game's made we have made a lot of openings for multiplayer to hook in though it is like a monumental task and you know this game yep. is essentially made by myself and and one other person and then we have people like daniel sort of helping out but there's like there's two there's two developers <laughs> yeah. um so then once we actually release the game we can have more of like we can you know get an office and, and hire some more people mm -hmm. and make more of a structured sort of group where we'll have the capacity to to hire a network engineer and then start start on multiplayer. We have a lot of ideas for multiplayer too. Like a lot of people want the more standard co-op survival type of gameplay. Um, it was funny that um, who who asked the question again? Sorry, what was their name? Melb? Uh, this is Melb underscore Mayor. Melb, yeah. So as Melb said, trading. Um, that's something I have always loved in games. I was an avid. Team Fortress 2 hat collector back in the day. <laughs> I was I was an addict. I was just addicted yep. to unusual hats and earbuds and Bill's hats and I couldn't get over it. And so that was sort of like my like my introduction into gaming, to be honest, was Team Fortress 2. And um and then I got into the, the Counter-Strike trading for a little bit, but that didn't mm -hmm. really interest me as much. Yeah. So I've always loved this idea of like people connecting through like bartering and like, you know, business being through a game. So we've had ideas to make sort of trading posts and like almost like a citadel where different lens can go and sort of <laughs> interact. And like you can like you can actually sort of I don't know if anyone's seen Rick and Morty, but there's yep, a citadel yep. of Rick. <laughs> and yeah, our program Citadel one, of Lens. <laughs> yeah, literally like the Citadel of Lens. That's what yep. we want to make. <laughs> and oh, man. make it so you can like see all the other lens that are all playing and see all their cool weapons and clothes that they've collected. And then you can like duel them and fight them and go on quests with them and trade yep. items and do all sorts of stuff. And then you can come back to your world that is just yours and it's your own mm -hmm. private sort of personal experience. But then if you choose to, you can go out into this multiplayer sort of hub to sort of share that experience with other people as well. Because I, I feel like that sort of carries over that whole sort of segmentation sort of ideas that we're going for is to like people can decide what they want to do. Um, at any given point, I think um, I think that would be amazing. Like, so, is would it be difficult? Like, in from a because everybody always you always see on Reddit, they're like, oh, why can't they add this to the game? Why can't they add that to the game? Is it people don't actually understand what's involved actually in making a game capable of doing something like multiplayer? Um, so what what you said you prepared it for such an experience. How do you prepare a game for multiplayer? Or networked more yeah well it, it, it's sort of like and well to answer like the first question like it's a monumental task okay it's it's massive but also you know creating lens island the way it is now was a monumental task and we've managed to complete that so um with more people and more expertise like we, we can easily add multiplayer it just it just takes the time and the sort of the power of, of, of different people to get it there mm -hmm. um but it's it's one of those things where it's sort of in the in like the framework that you make the game you know there's certain things that you sort of think about as you're making a game that makes multiplayer a lot easier of a process to implement you know where when you're sort of designing there's like this 
well, I, I was about to say famous, but nobody knows about this. Maybe it's famous within game developers, but like yep. this post and it talks about um, how hard it is to make a door multiplayer, like how hard it is to make a door in a single player game versus a right. oh, yeah. multiplayer yeah. game. And it's sort of just like, okay, what happens, you know, when you make a door and then it's like, okay, mm -hmm. Now the door opens. Does it open on the multiplayer server? Does everybody see that door open at the same time? If the door is open, can someone interact with it? And then it's like, okay, if one person can interact with it, can two people? And then what? And it's like, it sort of opens up this like spider web of all yeah. these possibilities just from this one door. And you realize like the immensity of, of sort of all of the different scenarios that you have to think about when making a multiplayer game. Yeah. So preparing for those scenarios and building a door that's capable of, of being altered in multiplayer is sort of some something you have to prepare for um which we've done to an extent like there's definitely like a lot of work like it, it's a big big task to make the game multiplayer it's no easy feat mm -hmm. though it's something we've always thought about and always kept in the back of our in our minds and like the way we program certain things um will make it easier is there a way to make like a like a fire um, not a fire. There's mm -hmm. like, you can make little lamps and lights and things. Mm -hmm. If you, if you're looking to heal, the easiest way is a bed. The yep. sun does look like it's about to come up though. So you'll be light. Yep. Not too soon. Is the, um, is it like a 50, 50 day night or is it night a little shorter? 50, 50. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we we didn't want to cut any corners, and mm -hmm. so it's just like, yeah, you have to you have to live out the the whole night. But 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 as well as that, like there's there's other sort of um, there's other like repercussions for making a night shorter. For example, mm -hmm. if you sleep in your bed, like that's that's a portion of game time that's passed. Yeah. So then if you have and then crops will grow over that night cycle period. Yeah. So then if the night's really short, let's say like a, a third, and then and then daytime's two thirds, it actually means every time you sleep in your bed you're sort of like getting scammed out of a bit of time. It's yep. like, oh man, like I thought, you know, 20, 10 hours would pass or whatever. And instead only four hours passed because the night's a little miniature night. Oh, <laughs> so there's fun. like other things we have to sort of account for with that. Yep. Um, okay. This might be a stupid question, but how do you open the door? So oh. I, was, I was waiting for a while, but basically <laughs> you put wooden foundation steps or you oh, can jump right. as well by pressing space. Yeah. yeah. So you can jump. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> oh that's yeah. Okay. Jumping's yeah. good. Classic. Lens Island noob mistake yep, right yep. there. But uh, yeah, there's foundation steps, like Daniel said, that sort of yep. specifically serve that purpose. Yeah. So there you go. Aha, there we one. go. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> but no, that's what I call a home. Look yes. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you can put beds and stuff too if you just go on over to the utilities. Yeah. Um, but you do have to put a workbench first. To oh, okay. Get the uh, unlocked items. Oh, classic. All right. Done. Yeah. Bam. Uh, so, Mel's May is also asking Julian, what is some of your favorite and least favorite things about games in similar genres to Lens Island? Hmm. It's a good question. This part, Mel has a lot of good questions. Mel has an excellent yeah. question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, my favorite and least favorite. My favorite, my favorite aspects of just like, this genre of games like survival crafting open world games is the is like the creativity and the um like the the like the sheer amount of options that you have available to you like if you boot up a minecraft world or like play a game like seven days to die or terraria or something um you spawn in this gigantic world that you can alter in any way and build whatever house you want stay in it as long as you want and there's like this just long list of options that's ever sort of changing. So just like allowing that creativity um, is something that's so like beautiful and is only something that's really sparked recently in games. Like in the past sort of decade, games have sort of, you know, made this pivot into open world, you know, voxel based and sort of like worlds where you can edit the terrain and sort of actually do things and change the structure of the game and decide your own pathway forward as a player. So like fundamentally, that's, that's what I love about um, these sorts of games. The things I don't like about the games is like all the systems in place that hinder that just to simply like string along gameplay or to force the player to do stuff that the developers want the player to do. Like when you when you get that and then, you know, you mix it in with something else like, you know, um, whatever, like the, the snow is killing you or like zombies or whatever. There's some elements that can be really, really interesting, like defending your base from zombies and it can be really, really fun. But then if there's always zombies that are always attacking you, suddenly you don't get to use any of those 
awesome systems that the developers have built. You're, you're just simply using those systems for like really small amounts of time and you're using them to sort of fight away this this thing that's always looming and it's always there. So, yep. and like this was like a very big issue that I see in a lot of games is the fact that so often the open world crafting genre always has to collide with survival and combat and sort of like horde based and like all those sorts of stuff that are just like these constant hindrances to gameplay. So I like, that's what, like, like I was saying at the start, um, what we tried to do with Lens Island is sort of like actually segment them into two like specific areas where you can build a home and have no time frame and do whatever you want. And then you can fight stuff and then you can have both of those sort of elements. Cause like, I love playing games like Diablo and all that. Um, but like, I just get bored from just fighting nonstop and doing nothing else for like a, an hour or two. I, I just simply get bored. And like, I know a lot of other people can go like a lot longer and really enjoy those games. But I've always just thought to myself, like, man, if I could just like go back to this town in Diablo and build a house, I'd be sweet. Like, I'd be so happy. <laughs> and then I could sort of get that fix <laughs> and then, you know, craft my stuff, and make my farm and then go back out and fight some more things. And it would mm-hmm. really keep me invested in the game. And that's pretty much the exact game loop of Lens Island it is is doing that too. So it's like, yeah, more or less Lens Island is me trying to fix what I personally don't like in a lot of the games in the genre. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like, and then like, this has all just been like a big science experiment to see if people like that or not, to see if like my opinion of games, is that another opinion? Is that opinion shared by the public or not? Yeah. Um, and it looks like it is <laughs> to an extent. Look, we launched a game tomorrow, so we'll find out well and truly um but it's been pretty successful so far so i think it really is starting to resonate with people this sort of format um of sort of allowing all these different motives of gameplay but then not having to cross them all over constantly and forcing you to go down certain ones uh another question from mel uh, mel mayor uh for daniel uh dan can Ooh. you talk a little about Talk a little bit more about the art uh, direction behind the game and your involvement there. Uh, what went into the look of the game? Yeah, yeah, sure. So um, when I got put onto the project, it was uh, it was like December of last year, 2020. And a lot of it had already been like sort of um, not finalized, but a lot of it wasn't really there as far as the lighting goes and the stylization of the trees and the look of the island and everything like that. And uh, my first big task was to do the splash illustration of like Len standing on the cliff overlooking the ocean and there's a little vistas and stuff like that. Um, when I was doing the icons, I, I kind of settled pretty early on on having everything be, and this is like for lack of a better term, but like a little gem, a little bit gem. So what I mean by them is like the silhouettes of a lot of the icons in the games or like resources um, or different just items like that. It's a little bit askew. Like I've, I've made sure to have really strong silhouettes, have it be very graphic and sort of readable um, because I just, I felt like the imperfections of all of those different sorts of items um, married really well with the visual style of Lens on in engine, as you see. And especially even the thing like, you know, the limestone that you're mining right now as well, there's like little bumps and, and grooves and stuff. Um, but it's not super detailed as well. It's more graphic, one shape sort of thing, which I really liked as well. Um, it's got like a smooth look to it. And so I really tried to represent that, not just in the icons, but the actual splash illustrations as well. And um, yeah, I guess a lot of it was, a lot of thought was put into the lighting, especially about how certain things should look how detailed stuff should be, uh, materials, of course, is like another really big one. But we wanted most of the images to be very friendly and sort of like, I don't know, larger than life, I guess. Even the um, the illustration for when you go into the K's, even though it's supposed to have a very foreboding, dangerous sort of feel, I, I still wanted it to feel somewhat relaxing, you know, like, and it's just, um, mm-hmm. I don't know, it's, it's hard to describe, but I, I want you to just feel chill like most times throughout mm-hmm. this game. And uh, I definitely worked a lot with Julian back and forth just about the the look of certain things because uh, most of it, like I mentioned, was already established. So I didn't want to reinvent anything or, or go too crazy with it. So we worked very closely to make sure the stuff that I was doing was in line with his vision, but then also maybe filling in some gaps that um, he wasn't able to do just yet. And that was like a really cool experience for me too. Like um, I remember because... Having, like you were talking about that limestone, we, we have this asset that was in the game that is limestone and it's represented in like this very 
um, generic way. But then I got to sort of hand that off to you and be like, hey, you know, here's this limestone, limestone. Now we need to portray it in some more detail in some sort of way that conveys emotion or conveys style. So it's been interesting for like from my perspective too, having like this this idea about Lens Island and, and about what it is and then giving all these elements over to Daniel and then he extrapolates on them. And it's like, you know, we have this town that is this pre-built 3D town, but then Daniel gets to make the splash art and like draw in every little like chip in the wood and draw in some little chickens and draw in like all these little details that aren't there in the game. And so it gets to piece together the whole story. So that was really cool for me to see it's like seeing that second level on all of our ideas that have been pushed and then like pushed in like a really cool art style because we've loved all the stuff that daniel's made and i feel like it's really represented the game well and sort of the the, the style and the theme and sort of the emotions that we're trying to convey as well thank you and uh thanks mel Peter, as well it's a very nice comment but you um, got your head down so we're we're what? halfway there. We have we're a halfway house. there. We've we got a bit a, of an got, interesting roof line. We've got, Did you save yet? <laughs> Did I save? Oh, I yeah, you can I save in the bed. Oh um, yeah, okay. On Hang on. Um, yeah. Gian is asking, can you get too tired and pass out? Uh, no. Oh, I just no. realized how cooked this house is. <laughs> just now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was okay, and then I just you realized, know. no, it's not. Well, look, I guess, you know, you, you get to make whatever. It's Len's island, and whoever yep. is playing the game, they are Len's Len. body yep. Len. So it is your island. You you do what you wish. Don't yep. don't let anyone tell you that's an ugly house. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I should try and make, like, the Winchester version of Len's island or something, you know, the, the house that has really weird staircases that go nowhere and doors that don't even <laughs> yeah. open. Oh, yeah. Stuff. So how do I yeah, pull down should... a wall? That I've already oh, okay, made. so it's edit mode. So if you hit uh, F on your keyboard, that's that's a shortcut, and like, oh, you can okay. also click on the little pencil. Oh, icon. I see. Okay, yeah. recycle. So, yeah, and you can sort of directly upgrade or just destroy parts from this yeah. mode as well. Hmm. Oh, I hey, Julian, actually, I need to ask you: Is there um any plans to have? So when you go into edit mode, you can move stuff that you've already placed down, like that bed. By clicking it, move it to the end. Um, we thought about it, and like maybe but it's one of the things where you can recycle everything in the game so like you can just destroy the bed get completely refunded for it and then just place it again just put it down like, yeah yeah so like we've sort of already solved that problem but i do understand how it's like one of those things that just makes it a little bit quicker and a little bit easier but all of those bits of gameplay are definitely um they're, they're a bit more like luxuries at this point that will we'll add in for our early access where it's like you know i would much rather in I'd much rather add in like a new dungeon for people to play than, yeah, like another way to move a bed. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because I'm sure people would probably appreciate the new dungeon a bit more. Yeah. And then along the way, we can add in like sort of sprinkle in a lot of those little quality of life parts. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. But I feel like we've already nailed a lot of the quality of life things, but there will still be more. Like there's always more. It's a game. There's always things that can improve upon and sort of become a little bit easier to do. Because mm. you and I had a conversation not long ago about, just the nature of Flu Studio being yourself and Martin, and then having to prioritize. Like, there's so there's infinite possibilities of things that you could be focusing on to try and make better. But at the end of the day, deadlines exist, and you really have to prioritize the ones that's going to impact the most people, I guess, and then kind mm. of work from there. So, it's, so are you trying to delete your wall? I am. <laughs> so there's <laughs> like that little level hider graphic on the bottom left. So you can click on the different levels to that to to make the levels show up. Oh, um, right. Otherwise, you can also hit Alt-Scroll, and that's yep. like a shortcut for it. Oh, yeah. okay, yep. Your yeah, Lens Iron Building is, like, one of those things where, like, it is pretty straightforward. You sort of click and drag, but then when you want to get into, all like, the, the high-level customization, start editing things and yep. making very complex builds, there is a little bit of an art to it. But once you work it out and just, just you know, understand the controls, yep. it's amazing what you, know, you can build. Like, so our beta testers, blow me away with their builds <laughs> i just didn't even think it was possible and they're like they're like mashing building pieces together where i'm like how did you do that like i'm, I'm pretty sure we don't even allow that like how did you <laughs> but they're like figuring out all these like cool ways to manipulate the systems that we've made to to make their perfect little houses and floating buildings and whatever they yeah. feel like making so yeah. it's been pretty cool to to see all of that yeah but Shout yeah that's mr we're... bubbles too on on yeah. the discord we've, we've had a lot of amazing builders mr bumbles 
uh, so good. Martin, Hulu. Yep. There's this, uh, we have an amazing group of, of testers and just general community around Lens Island. I, I definitely owe a lot of, um, well, any success that Lens Island might get, a lot of it contribute a lot of it attributes to the community and just um like i could imagine finding every bug myself um that the community found it just wouldn't have been possible like i would have had to be yeah. playing lens island 24 7 for like a couple of years to get through all of the <laughs> little you know bugs that people find but we have some we have some professional bug hunters that are the part of the beta <laughs> testers and they've yeah they've just been a godsend they've helped us out so much but uh, yeah, and I guess like that sort of plays into what you'll talk about, Daniel. It's like, uh, yeah, like e even sometimes you have to prioritize bugs and be like, okay, what's worse? Like this tree exploding in your face and hurting the player or the player falling through this rock and falling infinitely. <laughs> and it's like, you're always like tossing up between, oh, like what's the, what's the worst of two evils? Yeah. And um, yeah, like you get that all the time. Like game, des game design is a sort of synonymous with compromise. And like you can't, exactly. because it's like this ever evolving, ever shifting, medium um it, it will never be perfect and it will never be truly completed um because there's no formula to making lens island like you can't just pick up a textbook and they tell you how to make lens island like we're <laughs> mm -hmm. just we're making that textbook we're writing it as we're as we're building the game and it's just constantly changing so you get that you're just constantly comp constantly compromising and constantly sort of like you fix one thing and nothing breaks you make one change add in a new bit of content and then you unbalanced or needs changing as well hmm. and it's full of that it's full of compromise but i guess the art to game design is is having the judgment um and having the correct judgment of what should be compromised or what shouldn't and what should be prioritized and what shouldn't because sometimes um a, a bunch of little tiny changes can be a lot more important than one big change or vice versa and like you really need to have the right sort of mindset to sort of get an idea of what what really is more important you can also hit R to uh, rotate the roofs if you um. Oh yep. If you didn't know, yeah. That. There we go. Here and we if you go. and if you use that level harder again, you'll be able to um. Yep. See what you're doing. One thing at a time. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, once yep. once you work it out, ah, you'll be a professional. You builder. know what? You should leave it. Leave I that think I like it like that. And, and then it just like the opera house. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Or All in right. Perth, we have an RSC arena. It oh, totally yeah. looks like it. Okay, so yeah. sleep. Let's buy that. Oh, Beautiful. yes. Nice. Okay. Done that first. So, um, Pemeris also says, uh, I watched it the doco and those health issues from working uh, sound full on. What does your work look like now to find a better balance so you don't burn up? Um, well, look, we're, yeah, we're doubt from launching a game, so it's, it's not any better. <laughs> I'll be completely honest. It's like, yeah, we. I went to bed at five thirty this morning and woke up at nine and, and kept going. And and like, it's pretty much been like that for the past. Well, it's been like it's been like it's been like three a.m. bedtimes, seven a.m. wake ups for the past month, maybe. And then the past couple of months have been not quite that bad. But uh, yeah, like I've had to do a lot of other lifestyle changes to, to sort of yeah, put myself in a better in a healthier state. Um, and just sort of what like you know, care a lot more about my eating and my health and fitness and like trying to meditate and have times where I can really clock out from game design and from, from sort of work or making Lens Island and have my own times, even if it's just 10 minutes or five minutes somewhere in the day where I can just like have that. Um, there's like a lot of little changes that I've personally made that has just led to me being a bit like a lot more happier and sustainable and, and sort of healthier too. Um, but for the most part, like, yeah, we're, it, it's, it's, you know, we're launching our first indie game and it's like, it's crazy. Like it's, it's impossible to, to launch Lens Island, um, working nine to five and then like, you know, having a perfect structured life. Like it just, it just can't happen. So we're just doing what needs to get done, um, currently. And then I'll be able to make, I'll be able to make some more meaningful changes to my life. And then hopefully everyone that works on Lens Island can have a really, sustainable healthy life and that's something that i'll force upon people anyone who wants to work <laughs> at Flow studio like they need to like i'll tell them to go home and no, like, just yeah. chill out yeah because um because i yeah i guess i've i understand how how uh, bad it could get when you don't take care of yourself so mm. yeah like it's definitely we're still in the thick of it but 
um i think we've learned a lot and so has martin and but, but definitely myself like I, i've learned a lot along the way on how i can do little things throughout the day and throughout the weeks to keep myself healthier and happier and more level level headed less stressed um mm-hmm. and like just functioning at like a, at a better level sort of throughout the day as well mm-hmm. and just to add to that as well like for me personally um i like to do this thing called the pomodoro technique which is like for studying but it could be worth for working as well so if i'm working on a huge illustration and then i'm going to be putting like you know seven eight hours in it a day or whatever i'll work in like hour increments so i'll do like an hour and then take a really short break and then go back and do an hour and a really short break and then just repeat that for me in the past when i would kind of put in brute force it and just do it for as long as i can like i get so burnt out really quickly and having that 10 minute break to just like step away from the computer, go outside or do something else, play guitar. Um, it, it, that's like a little thing that's really helped me as well. Stay on top of things. Um, and you wouldn't think it, it has such a huge, like a cumulative effect, but it totally does. Okay. I think I may have just lost my house, uh, which makes it very alarming. Um, actually I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a little, a secret <laughs> hint. Just yep. swim down and just keep swimming. Okay. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, it'd be really cruel if i just led you to your death right now <laughs> but i'm not i'm not i swear bees no okay. more bees <laughs> yeah water bees <laughs> water bees it sounds terrible uh, <laughs> while i swim through the infinite ocean uh Piverus has a uh, another question uh, also curious about your decision not to get a pub not to get publisher support um what was that uh was what was the major concern there as wouldn't that give you more resources people to finish the game? I did see you had a really snarky response to a, to a Twitter account the other day. <laughs> I think a publisher like reached out to you under your Twitter. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Where are <gasps> you? Oh no. Oh. You're ruined. Oh. We're, this is the rest of the game. No, no. We're in yeah, the, yeah. why has the rum gone? <laughs> yeah. This is this your is place. <laughs> We this should, is we now Lens Island. Like the Lens Island. Welcome to but Lens Island. There's, <laughs> there's a gift for you on the island. I was actually helping you out. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Hey. Oh, I'm definitely having that. Oh, do, have, I, have I got it now? Yeah, so you can just drag that icon straight onto your hotbar now. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Fantastic. Nice. <laughs> First <laughs> cuts out the only tree here. Tree. So, no what trees. Was that again? I think we got too carried away by the island. Um, oh, the publisher. publishing right. and you being funny on Twitter to that publisher. Yeah, well, I think, yeah, I which I thought, which I thought was very funny. I was, yeah, I get so many publishers just like messaging me on Twitter, and yeah. I, I just usually ignore them. But yeah. this one, I just felt like just saying like I'm all good, thank you. <laughs> but uh, I can't remember what oh, I said. I was just like, I didn't see it. What, what was it? I don't know. I think I, I just said. No, I, I think just said no I'm thanks, gonna, you know. Well, I'm gonna paraphrase here, but I think it was some of the lines okay. of like a publisher was like, "Hey, do you need publishing? Do you need publisher?" And Julian just replied, "No, I'm good." Like, and it was just. Uh, I thought it was. Really, <laughs> I, I thought it was quite funny. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. that's right. Yeah, that's right. No, yeah, it was a little bit snarky. I yeah, guess you could say because the, uh, someone tweeted at me like, "Hey." Yeah. Um, can I DM you about about a business opportunity or something like that? And then I just like clicked on their profile and saw they were a game publisher. And then I just like put one, two and two together and I just replied back and said, hey, I don't need a publisher, thanks. <laughs> and then, yeah, so okay. <laughs> but yeah, like um, our choice to our choice to not go to the publisher is, is, is a really simple choice. And it's just, um, I don't really care about, like, like, yes, you know, it would have given us more money and more resources and... I um, could have been a lot healthier and happier making Lens Island. And we, there could have been a lot of stuff changed right now through development that would have become easier. And like myself personally and the other developers would have uh, money and would have, you know, would be better off. Though the goal of Lens Island isn't to like make myself happy. <laughs> isn't It's not to like make money and um, it, it's nothing that's surface level. Like the goal of Lens Island is to make Lens Island a fantastic game. Mm-hmm. So then I don't want to do anything that will jeopardize that. So if I have a publisher saying, here's where you need to spend your money, here's the mechanics that we want you to add to the game, oh, we want you to do a brand deal with these people, blah, blah, blah. Like there's all sorts of levels of, um, I guess, like control that publishers have. But even at the most lowest levels of control, they are there pulling strings in the background 
and um, you're giving up a lot to, for, for that money. Mm-hmm. And, um, and that all jeopardizes Lens Island. Like, I, I just want to make Lens Island the way that, you know, Flow Studio wants to make Lens Island. And I don't want anyone to tell us any, any of that. Like, mm-hmm. any part of that equation, I don't want anyone sort of forcing um, decisions upon us. And that's what, exactly what a publisher um, and even, like, just other investors would do. So we've had endless opportunities to go with publishers and get big fat checks to publish the game and get investment in the game and all sorts. And um, yeah, like it's just, it's just a hard no, because mm-hmm. like, I want to, I want to build flow studio. Like also like there's a lot of problems in the game design industry. And funnily enough, like a lot of the publishers reaching out to us contribute to those problems. And like, I want to make flow studio into something that fixes those problems and sort of shines a light on um, how people and workers and how like games as an art form is supposed to be handled in the correct way. So I want to try and like set um, an example in, in the industry for that. And, and the way to do that is to build up Flow Studio myself and, and do everything correctly and do it the right way without any other help. So that's, that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> so like I'm pretty, I'm pretty set on, yeah, like maintaining that course, making Lens Island an amazing game and then making Flow Studio an amazing company that makes amazing games and and that all stems from um like a lot of core values and a lot of decisions that um do not coincide with publisher decisions and what most publishers core values are so it's just not going to work like there's just very very little sort of um there's very little people and, and companies that would be able to make that happen for us so it's a it's a no deal no deal I guess a follow-up question to that, uh, Pivaris, this is one of Pivaris' favorite. Um, what about government support? Would you government support? Um, I have, like, I remember I was even looking at, like, the different government grants and everything through Australia and all that. Um, and that was, again, I, like, it comes back to that same question, but uh, the other part of it is, I don't know if anyone's, like, actually filled out for a government grant before. Like, it, it is, it takes forever. And you have to write down everything. Like I was like, man, it's gonna take me like a month to properly apply for this for these grants. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna spend that month making the game. Like, screw it. Like, I don't, I don't want to give up a month of time making <laughs> right. this grant. So there's like there's a the whole time component, especially because like when we were looking at grants, it was earlier on in the game where we the time was really crucial. We're getting everything ready for the Kickstarter and all of that. So our time was sort of best served working directly on the game. Um, but then at the same time, there are certain strings that also still come with government funding as well, although it's a lot different to publishers. Like, they're not in it to to make money from you necessarily. They're in it to better the, the, the culture and the business and the growth of, of your country or your area or your state. Um, but there's still strings that come attached to that. And so, like, I don't really care what the package deal is with the strings, whether it's money or anything else. I just, I just don't want any strings. <laughs> I yeah. just want to make Lens Island and Flow Studio in the way that we want to make it in our own sort of free-flowing way. And, like, to do that has just mean that I've had to, like, personally sacrifice a lot. But I'm okay with that. Like, I'm totally okay with that because, you know, like, I'm still here and I'm, I'm happy and I'm alive and I'm, I'm good. Mm-hmm. And, um, and the game and the studio and everything else is going to be monumentally better because of that. So, like, if I can just, like, cop something on the chin for a couple of years... Um, to make the future better for for everyone playing Lens Island and everyone working at Flow Studio, then I'll, I'll happily do that. that yeah. That's, for me, a fantastic deal. Cool. Well, there you have it. Bam. <laughs> I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to head off soon. So if we want any more deep questions, I've probably got time for one more. All right. So lead developer Lens Island of Lens Island, Julian Ball, has time for one more hard-hitting question. What do you mean, one? <laughs> How are you going mining all those trees and rocks, though? Oh, I'm loving it. Sort of yeah, I'm, I've, I've decided that I've just, I'm not going to find my old house again. So um, <laughs> I'm just going to set up shop here. Uh, what do I need? Oh, I need more reed. Did they say in like a uh, full Ragnarok? Asgard isn't the home, the home is the people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the home. What does he say again? Gypsy? Anthony Hopkins is like, yeah. he says, um, oh, what is it? And Asgard is not a place. It's a people. It's oh, a that, people. Yeah, yeah. It's a people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's go. like Anthony Hopkins and then he dies. A spoiler, yep. by the way. Uh, Spoilers so, yeah, for... A spoiler for... 
Thor Ragnarok, like a. Oh, you just ruined it. Yeah. Damn. Don't watch it now. It's too late. Oh, I gotta need one more reads. Quickly make my bed so I can skip night. Mm. <laughs> yeah, essential for any like open world crafting game. Oh, there's a read right there. Up top. Oh, there is. To oh, the left, to the left. Yeah. I went for there's this. There's a little one. highlighting. There. You got it. I got my single read. Here we. Go. Damn. Look at that. Mm. Sleep mm. out in the open. Sleep, under, sleep the under the stars. stars. That's the way yeah. to do it. <laughs> oh no! Oh yes, yes, yes! Alright. So what about um barrels and things like that? Do they, do they re-appear? Yeah, but not in the same place. So right. Things will, things will wash up on the shore slowly over time. Mm -hmm. Barrels and, and glass bottles. And, uh, and you get to clean up the land and collect them and and um, you know, use them to craft, and that that sort of flows into that idea of of helping the island and sort of um, making the island a better place. Because you're sort of cleaning up the trash yep. and then using it to build stuff. Um, yeah. So <laughs> we, I don't know why, but I just thought of this: is we've always had this idea to make one of like sometimes have messages in the bottles. Yeah. And then I know Martin, the other developer. <laughs> Always had this idea you'd have a bottle and you pick it up and then it just says new bottle who dis. <laughs> I don't know why, but now that's like it's always been the top. Of my oh, mind. okay, like, that's really funny. Glass bottles. Yeah, yeah, so it's like we have to include that joke. Yeah, story that is very funny. Oh, please, can you add a bottle that when you open it up, it just said NM you? That's it. That's it. <laughs> um, I, lo I love that type of humor. I feel like it's an no, that's really genre funny. Of humor. <laughs> yeah. Um, I might do that course, actually. I might put a. I, I might do that. I might go and throw a bottle in the ocean. Just that says, says, just, just says new bottle. Who is. <laughs> um, okay, so um, I guess for our final question before Julian uh, has to go, is uh, what is your wish list goal for this game? Um, well, yeah, like multiplayer, like the whole Citadel of Lens. That's on the <laughs> wish list. But like, <laughs> yeah, I'm firm on the Citadel of Lens. Yeah. But like, if if I'm talking about like big picture, you know, Lens Island would be the coolest game in the world if it had these things. It would be their multiplayer citadel of Lens, a trading system like I like like literally hats hats from Team Fortress Two yep. combined into the game that also have like effects and can alter the player, but mainly just for looks to make your Lens look really really cool and be able to trade with other players, and that, they have other sorts of aesthetic items like that you can trade and. And, and sort of get as rewards. Um, but then like really expanding upon the world and then the systems that we have. So there will be like, and throughout all early access, all this stuff's planned anyway. But like, so for example, the dungeons that we have at launch are taking most of the beta testers around 20 to 40 hours to complete Whoa. the dungeons to get to the end. Um, because it's not as it's not as simple as just sort of going through. Like if you're really good at the game, like you can just sort of go in and see how far you can get. But it's sort of like you need resources to repair things. You need to, you know, build a home and build farms to ena enable to you know, sustain yourself through certain fights. Yep. You need certain weapons to enable that. So there's like this, a lot of stuff tied to your progression. And um, yeah, so like even already I've built many, many more parts of the dungeons and caves that are, aren't in the game yet that we haven't added. Um, so the dungeons will be around double the size, like the ones underneath the island in what you're playing now. Mm hmm um and then we want to include more worlds like some completely different islands that have different biomes different enemies yep completely different types of gameplay um and different like modes of fighting enemies like horde based modes and like wave based combat and all sorts of stuff so the idea is to ex just keep expanding lens island with with you know sort of new new worlds to live in and experience as you sort of progress further throughout the game and then um being able to have like a multiplayer hub alongside that and then throughout all of that, continue to expand more building parts, expand the farming system and make that a lot more in depth and have a lot more options. And um, even in the town, we've started adding like a bakery, like we've started adding a system where you'll be able to own a bakery and sell bread and make banana bread and pumpkin that pie sounds, and blueberry muffins. That and, sounds very yeah. excellent to me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's just like we've got a lot of ideas, a lot of stuff we've already started working on that's in the pipeline. So I think people will be pretty surprised when they see or hear about what what we're like already doing. Mm -hmm. um, 
because we have some big plans for Lens Island. And um, like even even like worst case scenario and, you know, Lens Island is just sort of like, yeah, and we have like a like an, an average amount of people playing it and it just sort of like, you know, goes okay. We, we should still have everything we need to make it um, like really an amazing game. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then if it goes really well, we'll be able to really do some big things with Lens Island and... Um, and yeah, make the Citadel of Lens and, and do all of that, and it will be really special. So, either way, I'm very excited for the future of mm-hmm. Lens Island. Like, there, there's a lot to look forward to, and there's a lot to look forward to in every facet of the game. Like, sort of just imagine what 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 there is in Lens Island now, and then every single, I guess, like um, avenue is is sort of expanding out evenly. Yeah. So, if you're inter- interested in farming, there will be more farming. If you're interested in building, there'll be more building. If you're interested in combat, there'll be more of that. And and there'll be more of everything, um, yeah. So there's there's a lot, and there's so much more than that too. I just uh, I could just talk all night about it. Yeah. I'll never stop. <laughs> Welcome, Master Moss. Uh, if you just joined us, uh, I am playing Lens Island and talking to the lead developer Julian Ball and developer Hey. But Julian's Ooh. about to leave us though. So don't get don't Sorry, get too comfortable time. with Julian being here. Yeah. Well, I've, I'll leave you in in Daniel's hands. Yep. Daniel, please steer him in the right direction. You already have a farming bed down. So yes, I I've decided like that I, that's what I want to do. Sorted. Yeah. <laughs> so you're definitely on off to the right track. Yeah. You have because like if anyone in the audience you're playing Lens Island tomorrow when it launches, the developer tips tips and tricks is um, <laughs> build a little home, place down a couple foundations, build a workbench, build a bed, get a farm going. I think people really um they forget about the farms they jump they jump down into the dungeons and they get annihilated <laughs> and they have nothing there to sustain themselves so if you get in a farm early you'll get this sort of food production going where it can continually sort of sustain your your fighting and your adventuring so it's what yeah wise decision to start on that early it'll it'll keep you going for a long time None deal. Oh, yeah, we just saw a tree animation. Oh yeah, I just ground. I was just about to yeah. point out. Yeah, the tree animations here. Just Little wiggle. Weird. So yeah, that, that that's the wiggle. But I think I've been like that before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I I will head off. I hope I hope you. I'll have to see a screenshot of your your home once. Oh you, yes. Once you finish. You'll you'll be seeing yeah. it. Um, thank you very much for joining us, Jillian Ball, uh, lead developer of this game at Lens Island. Um, Daniel and I are going to stick around uh, mm-hmm. for. Um, in a determinate amount of time. So uh, Daniel will be able to answer some of your questions as well if you have any more questions about Lens Island. But uh, once again, thank you very much for joining us, uh, Julian Paul, and uh, check out Lens Island tomorrow on mm. Steam. Very exciting. It's happening. Yeah, it's around 20, 28 hours. Ooh. Now, something like that. Yeah. So yeah. All yeah, right. Very exciting. But thank you for having me. It was, it was a pleasure to quickly chat. I've got to go back to to work it on the game <laughs> last the last day yeah so yeah getting everything sorted so there's a lot to do but daniel is daniel's quite the builder and he has quite the knowledge about the game so i'm sure he'll steer you in the right direction <laughs> excellent cool. right and unless not, unless he steers you in the wrong direction on purpose oh well, okay. he, of the potential I have right it's now. been known to happen yeah 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 all, all right, right thanks care. julian see ya, see ya. Oh. okay mitch yes i think Let's get you to the town. Let's do it. And uh, do some exploring. So is the town near? Pretty here? much go to the uh, the right hand side of the screen. Yep. And just keep running. Just okay. keep running and running and running. Yeah, so yeah, you'll you'll come my... across this bridge that you have to rebuild. Yeah. Uh, and you probably need quite a bit of limestone and, and stone to get there. Okay. Um but yeah, keep going across this little thing, swim across here. Ooh, I'm excited. I feel like you barely scratched the surface oh, of... Oh, there's your it's old my old house! <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, keep going this direction. It's like Minecraft when you find one of your like old relics. Yeah, I think uh, Julian and, and the rest of the team were... We were all sort of thinking about having like, a little map where you press it, it's in your inventory, and then the little compass thing pops up and shows mm-hmm. you where your house is. Yep. Like the direction, so yeah, I think that'll it'll save a lot of hassle in the future. We go up. Or um, okay, go go up, yeah, go up, and then keep going right. Dan's pro tips, yeah. Dan's pro tips. <laughs> um, I believe go up. Sorry, yeah, and then don't go there. 
Oh, if you want to go there, there are some enemies you could fight. Actually. Oh, okay. So, I, w I would use the the new sword that you got. Oh, oh, little critters. Yes. Yeah, do it. Yes. Get it. Look at that. Nice. Damn. There you go. There's all that clay. If you need some, or um, oh, am I gonna need it? Yeah, I'm gonna need it. Limestone as well. Limestone. So bad at hitting the crit. It's definitely a timing thing, but once you get it, oh, it's got pretty, it. pretty consistent. Yeah. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. Oh, I got a thing. I got Little some crystal. I got some colorful rocks. Um. Oh yeah, you don't want to go there. Oh. You want to go. Oh no. Around. Oh, it's too late. Uh, Am I back on the same island? Oh no. Yes, you are. So you, you have to run back if you remember to that little. Oh my little god. Section. Okay. Yep. But that's all right. In the meantime, I'll answer this question by the Master Moss. Yep. Daniel, um, what have been some unique challenges in the development of Lens Island? It's a good question. Um, so my role is is kind of interesting because I, I do like fifty percent art icons and stuff that you see for the game, as well as all the villages, and then the other half of it is sort of like managing social media and. Um, the latest big thing that I did was making that documentary that was just up on Flow Studio on YouTube. If you want to go have a look at that. Um, I guess the unique challenges were more so just um, <clears throat> for me, try to f like find the balance between complementing what Julian has already done, but then also like adding more to it and trying to make it, you know, a little bit um, more visually interesting, I guess. So yeah, marrying those two visual styles together, uh, because essentially all the icons are 2D and then having it be representative of the 3D aspect of actually playing the game um, was pretty interesting. And then I think, yeah, as well, the actual, like the whole documentary process, it was, um, was really intense to make. Like it was a, it was a lot of work. Um, thank you, Hawk4. Um, yeah basically spent like all the last week just editing and, and everything so yeah mitch by the way if you keep going up i'll keep going up yep I'll and then just, just keep going slept. that way is there a bed in town i can use the... there is i'm actually not too sure if you can sleep in there just yet okay. might be disabled um but yeah so yeah so this is a little island so keep going up and then to the left so not this coast but the other coast that you just ran past oh so the other side yep that, there we go and then keep following this bit um, oh, thank you very much for following. Hey, thank you. Gamedeals.com.au mm. <laughs> The water shallows look beautiful, by the way. That is, that's a, a lot of that was Ivan. So he did a lot of the um, graphics programming alongside Julian and Martin. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that like, I don't know. He's a wizard. So, okay. So keep going up, Mitch. One second. Sorry. I'm just making an. Okay. Okay. No, yep. No, all good. All good. I'm going. So. Keep oh, I think up. this is where I started. Yeah, so you'll you'll see a little path to the right hand side, and there's like a bridge there, just up the top. Ah, oh, so, yeah. See. You, you want to you basically want to repair that. Okay. So if you have the resources, um, you just have click click it and see if you have what it takes. No, okay, I don't. So you need more stone, and then so how do I? So I need to have it in my inventory in the uh, yep. thing. Okay. Yeah. Right. So if you hit, you just go back into the inventory by pressing tab, and then just have a look at the stone. Yep. So 18 out of 80, yeah. Right. Okay, hang on. First, what I'm going to do... Yeah, make a bed. I'm going to do this again <laughs> for the fifth yep. time today. I'm going to make a bed. Um, you need some... Sun's going down. <laughs> sun's getting real low. <laughs> sun's getting real low. Oh, no, I don't have any enough. I used my metal. Oh, wait, wait, no. Um, go, go to the left. That's the, the workbench. You can just make the bed without having oh. to put a workbench down. Okay. Yeah, so you just need reeds. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whew. Yep. So, yeah, for, for like, yeah, for the documentary, which I just finished up, um, that was really interesting because basically what I did was I, I interviewed everybody a couple of weeks ago and um, just tried to piece together this, like, the story of all of development and i guess for me too because i'm sort of joining the project at the tail end of development um i get to kind of see how things have developed over time and um it was really interesting kind of figuring out that this sort of started post uni for julian 
Um, and originally actually started off as a game called Tension, which he made in university and then basically took the assets from that and moved it over to Lens Island and started developing it. And um, yeah, I, I suppose to answer the, the question as well for unique challenges, piecing together the whole story of the documentary was was probably the biggest thing for me is like going through all of the interviews and stuff and then figuring out, okay, how should I tell the story of this now? So I've got the information, I've got everybody's bits and pieces and they've all told me how they got started on the project. But then how do I craft that now in a narrative that's sort of like interesting and, um, you know, like just tells it well and it's like a good documentary by itself. Um, ah, that's better. Yeah. Okay. okay, there we go. So how much stone do you have? Only 13. Less stone. So if you go around the coast, you should be able to find quite a bit and then... Am I, car- am I capable of carrying 18 stone? Or do I yeah, so see somewhere? at the resources, it says out of 150. Right, so I need to start so dropping we- my clay. Yeah, oh, well, you don't need to drop anything. It's just um, oh. each each resource has a maximum of 150. Right. So Yeah, that's personally for me, that's one of the things I really like about Lens Island is that you can kind of just not worry about managing your inventory. It's yep. like everything has a, a set limit. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, throughout the game, as you upgrade your backpack, you can get more, you can increase that carry weight. Ha. Uh, there you go. All right, all right. Rocks. Oh, oh yeah, I think the, the rock, um, the rocks in the game are like very specific models. Yep. Is it one of these? So, yeah, because there's a lot of these other ones here, like in front of you, that are more decorative for the yep. island, but then there's the actual mining ones, which are a little bit different. But once you identify it, you'll, yep. you'll get it pretty quick. Is it? Oh, these are limestone, okay. Nope. Oh, I think on, oh, the, on the left hand side, yeah, that looks like one. one. Yeah. yeah. Aha! Smart. Smart. Quite smart. <laughs> I can identify a rock. <laughs> yep, it's a rock. <laughs> this is definitely one of those rocks. I remember when I was first playing Destiny, I don't know if anybody played Destiny 1 in the early days when everybody was hunting for like materials on Mars. And right. there's this specific material you get on Mars, and I didn't know what it looked like because I just started playing the game. And my friend goes, "I'm like, what does it look like?" And he goes, "You're gonna think this is stupid." I'm like, "It's a red rock I'm like, <laughs> on Mars," and he's like, "Yes, everything's a red rock." <laughs> I'm like, Everything. "A red rock on Mars." <laughs> <laughs> Seems and legit. He, and he was like, "Yes." I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> I'll get on that." Oh, hold on. Oh. Nope. I think so. Like, um, if you mouse over the, like, say, a bush. Yeah. A tree. And then, yeah. See, yeah. see, like the items, they kind of glow, like very, yeah. very slightly. I think, yeah, that's the biggest. Um. Who would have thought? Looking for rocks, difficult. In, <laughs> in Minecraft, it's like the opposite. Yeah, you guess you just dig straight down. Hmm. 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 Oh, hello. There we go. Oh, like yes, me. here we go. Ah. Oh. Nice. Like a Gears of War you... reload. Yeah, it is. It is. When you time it. Or like in um, Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah. By Dice. Oh, yes. That's another oh, one. The mother load. 
<laughs> of rock. You're going to be a rock star pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at anything. that. I'm getting the crits. Mm. Nice. Oh, that one had 24. Okay. Hang on. How many rocks do you have now? I have 105. 105. Let's do it. do it. Time to go to the town. Yes. By the way, you can, you can sleep and save on that little tent thing there. As oh, well. I can? That, that little oh. raft. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, okay. I, I should have told you that earlier, but I completely That's all forgot. Right. Oh, look at that! Hey, there we go. Oh! I like it. Going to town. Nice. So oh, yeah, here's one there, of the, uh... there is Daniel's work, everybody. The splash screen. Yep, yep. That was uh, the last one that I finished, actually. Like uh, might a month recognize, and a bit ago, I think. Might recognize his work from Reddit. He's always at the front page of Reddit. <laughs> um, um, you, you could probably talk to the, uh, the mayor as well. Oh, okay. Just... I, I call this guy like Dan Bilzerian because you'll see the icon <laughs> that I drew. Like it, it looks oh. like Dan Bilzerian. It's not supposed to be, but it, right. Can I friend? Hello. What is this place? This is Bridgewater Traveler. My name is Gerald or Dan Bilzerian. Um, oh, Dan Bilzerian. Yeah. I am the mayor of this corner of the world. <laughs> <laughs> is he okay? What happened to him? Who, Gerald? No, Dan Bilzerian. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> this town is I built heard, for like... travelers. Oh, sort of not paraphrased, but yes. Um, is he okay? I I don't know. I'm I'm sort of inclined to say no, but yeah. I haven't really been following what he's been up to lately. That, that's so. okay. You don't have to follow him. <laughs> <laughs> king of Instagram. Yeah, king of Instagram. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, just just explore. Go around, talk to people. Hello, sir. Oh, hang on. Hello there. Hello, hello, sir. I have a like. I have a feeling. So I did all the um the character icons when mm -hmm. when you talk to people. Am I in this? And game? I just you could be. You oh. could be. I could, oh, add, I could add you in the game somewhere. But <laughs> I have a feeling um that that Sneak guy that you talk to he yep. he just looks so Australian. Like yeah, <laughs> I can hear his voice in my head. Oh, this is Gianni. <laughs> Hello, where'd you come from? <laughs> Just browsing your good thanks. See ya. If I click on it, oh, okay. So this is how you buy. You literally go up to stuff and pay for it. Yep, yep. So yep. yeah, you need a lot of different resources and stuff to get some of the higher tier weapons in this game. So um, does it do the items restock or change? I think once you buy them, like they're just in your inventory forever. Right. So, yeah. Oh, here we go. Someone's house. Um. Gianni says, did you put yourself in the game, Daniel? Oh, like a developer you did. house in town. I didn't, actually. I should. In the future. That would um, be a cool idea. I don't know if you've watched our moving, our unpacking video, Daniel, but we did make a couple of references to you in the video before we realized that the person moving in was a girl. <laughs> um, because we were like, oh my god, I bet you Daniel has all of this stuff. And Fiona's like, yeah, I bet you he does. And I was like, oh, no, it's a girl. It can't be Daniel. Oh, well. Why not? Wait, what, what sort of stuff is it? It's like it. It's like rendering markers and like a drawing tablet. Oh, and, that's me. Yeah, and, I in, that. and an internet connection. <laughs> well, now I do, thanks yeah. to the Ethernet cable that Gianni gave me. So. Ooh. <laughs> um, fun fact. So Steph at the market up there, um, mm -hmm. she's based off of Julian's partner. Okay. Also by the same name, Steph. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I could kind of give you like little tidbits and stuff when I was yeah, uh, yeah. designing these people. So. Yeah. Yeah. This dude here is Mr. Cowboy himself. Mr. Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like Cowboy Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sounds like him too. So, yeah, Jared the Blacksmith oh, is, is... Jared. It's ba He's based off of one of our um, Kickstarter backers that yep. um, pledged. So that's that's him. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, can, can you can you do me a favor? Can you go to that bed and can you sleep or interact with it? I cannot. Okay, all right. Because I remember an earlier build you could, so that might have right. been disabled for now. Yeah. That's okay. So I guess you can't build in here, can you? 
Um, not at the moment, but eventually oh, you'll okay. be able to get your own plot of land and stuff. Yeah, you can, can still like can cut down trees. Yeah, just start wrecking the town. Mm. Um, just got this town gentleman two here. Ago. Yep. Uh, this guy. He the stone mason. Stone yeah, mason. He's, uh, <laughs> he's like very low key based off of an MMA fighter named Cub Swanson. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you if you look him up, because basically yep. Julian sent me the character model. Yeah. And I was like, this this guy looks like Cub Swanson. Like, if you guys are watching, just Google Cub Swanson, and you'll see yep. the resemblance. Yep. Like, same mustache and everything. So I had to. I meet everybody in. Oh, hello. Oh, no, no, that, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you can't interact with uh, oh, arcane did I, lady? Did I just found a bug? Hang on. Maybe, actually. I'll let Julian know. Julian, I can't talk to arcane lady. Backpacks! Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you need the golds. And then if you go, yeah, to that little wardrobe, that's where you can change your look for... Right. ...for Len trying different clothes and stuff. Oh. Ashley. You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're from out of town. She reminds me of Mantis a little yeah. bit from Guardians. I, I'm taking Ashley is not based on anybody's spouse. Um, but she is. No. no. <laughs> well, I mean, she could be. Oh, well, okay. But no. <laughs> you should definitely put um, me in the... Yeah, I, I would. That'd be cool. <laughs> I'm curious to, like, um, how many... NPCs and stuff will continue to add because the mm -hmm. plan is to have like future islands and stuff that you can visit yep. and people come down and stuff like that. So I'm sure you know different places because you, you know the thing at the start when you were choosing um, Len's skin tone and it had yes. all the different. Yeah, I think the goal is to sort of like flesh those places out one day. Um, yeah, and I think this little bit here is like the plot of land that you can build in. Right, that's fenced off. So when yeah, you, when you gain the trust of the town. Yep, yep. You should go down. So if you head south, you'll eventually hit like the more not slum area, but it's like the pirate oh, oh, damn. Okay. shanty sort of area. That's pretty interesting. Oh wait, black guy. Already. That's the Australian guy. Yep, <laughs> the nettest of Kellys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's probably what it is. So yeah, you can swim, and then you can go um, to the right, and then there's that sort of tower shadow that. Ooh. Okay. 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 Yeah, here we go. So there's yeah, a little little beach here. Um, just keep going this way. Cutting down trees in this game kind of reminds me of RuneScape. Cut down trees. Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hey. Oh, lucky Jack. Miss Brazzy, you good thanks. It's thanks. If you have, do you have any coins on you at the moment? Don't actually, because you could totally play blackjack with him. Oh, really? And um, oh, it's just as frustrating now. as as GTA Online. <laughs> 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 there, there is actually an achievement in this game called, uh, I think it's called Blackjack of Blackjacks, and yeah. it's getting twenty one blackjacks. <laughs> and it's like it's by far the hardest achievement. Just really, of the RNG yeah, because you just got to. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so here are the uh fishermen. Oh nice. Um Kevin's Kevin's based off of Julian's dad. Nice. And then I believe his father's Julian's granddad. Oh, I'm back here. Oh, nice. Yep, so yeah, it all kinda connects. Oh, the sun's going down. It's getting real low. <laughs> sun's going down. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's a little pirate ship too. This I guy's pro this this guy I was the, the, the first beds... icon that I made. Oh, really? Okay, this is the very first icon. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at that. Look at that mustache. That mustache is just everything I wish I had. <laughs> um, what were you saying about the beds? Um, I think you should consider making some of the beds usable if you're in town. Yeah, I think so. I think so. That'd be a good idea because um, if you want to stop over a... Just rest for the night, you know? Yeah. It'd be pretty cool. Okay, I don't know where yeah. I came from. I want to I want to go sleep on the bed and come back in. Okay. I think what, what we could do as well yes. is um, get you ready and go into the caves. Oh, okay, okay. Let's do that. So, um, yeah. You you might... Wait, how do I get back to my house? What are my many oh, you, you'll, you'll need to go back to that huge... Um, the bridge where the mayor is. Okay. So, yeah, just go across here. 
<laughs> Definitely go into the caves. There's yes. uh, Zacharias. And yep, Master Moss says that his moustache has a moustache. Has a moustache. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's um, I think but before we so before we go into the caves, right, let's yep. build a torch. Yep. And then maybe get you some healing items as well. Because yep. you'll you'll need it. Oh, there it is again. Yeah. So that's that's that. the first big splash illustration I did uh, last year. It's amazing because I feel like that has Daniel Lang written all over it. Oh, thank you. All right, here we go. Sleep. Oh, look at that. And save. Nice. All right, nice. All right, so what are we doing first? So Healing let's, items. So um, let's build... If you remember where your other workbench is, oh, you can go it's, there. It's forever away. I'm going to make another one. Um, okay, just build another one and then make a, a torch. Okay, hang on. Nice. I need more. I oh, need a bit of everything now. Okay. Yeah. So, so for the scrap, just scour the um the shores because that's yep. where you'll see the barrels. Oh, oh, there's one hidden. Got him. Oh, <laughs> yes. Beautiful. How much do I need? Oh, I've got enough. Yes. Okay. Got enough. Okay. 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 You need trees. I need trees and the flax, whatever that's called. What's it, what is in this game? Is it reeds or? I think it's fibers. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Aha. So yeah, a lot of the uh, the icons were pretty interesting too. Like Mitch, if you look down at the um the hot bar. Yep. And see how oh, it wow. says Q. You have yep. W and E as well for that specific weapon. So if you go ahead and press that, you have oh, new look at that. attack animations. Okay, okay, okay. I'm into it. I'm into it. Mm. We, it's yeah. We, it's crazy. We did like dozens of those icons uh -huh. just to fill out the different things that you can do with the weapons um, and the different alts and stuff like that. Oh wait, me crush by it. Yeah, I, I will give you a hint. Um, yep, that is actually an achievement. <laughs> ah, <laughs> to, to get crushed by a tree. So, workbench is gonna have a view. Nice. All right. And what about okay. here? So click on that. Yep. And then yep. click on the little. Um, there's like a tab inside it. Oh. There you go. And yep. then there's the torch there. So if you just click right. on that, you need. You need have coal. coal. You need fire oh, and wood. Oh wow! Yeah. When, where did I get coal from? I actually don't know. Oh, I might. I probably missed it. Uh, uh, picked uh, it up uh, some, uh, uh. at some point. Okay. I need coal and fibers. Oh. Yes. I'm so terrible at this event, at this quick time event. Hang on. <laughs> it may look like I'm not doing it, but I am pressing the button every time. Yeah. You get better at it. The more you do it, the better you'll get. It's more of like an audio thing because yeah. it plays a little, a little like swing when you get it correctly. Oh, yes. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Oh no! My house! <gasps> oh, okay, it's okay. You got that coal from a dude called Scott in town. Oh, did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I feel like that's a joke that's gone over my head. I Sorry, think it is too. I, don't know if, I if I didn't understand. We know a Scott. Is he? F he drives a big car. <laughs> yeah, that runs on coal. That runs on <laughs> dead dinosaurs. <laughs> Okay, sweet. I think you should have enough for a torch. I think that is enough. Do it. So do I carry the torch with me? Yeah, so... Um, oh, hang on. What do I need? Oh, I need fibers. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Get my so the, the thing out. is, um, because of your limited inventory slots now, yep. you'll have to replace one of the items. I would suggest replacing the, the, the sword that sword? you have in... Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you still have the axe and uh -huh. the, uh -huh. the pickaxe. Uh -huh. You'll definitely need the pickaxe in the caves. Yep. Sounds good. Might be enough. No, that's what? got our prime minister. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Oh, Mr. Skomo himself. Oh, I mean, you know, sounds about right. He was mad that. Yeah, I made the, I made a I made a really bad joke while watching the news the other night, and uh, yeah, 
Oh yeah. Well, I don't know why, I don't, I don't know why I brought it up. I can't repeat, repeat it. it no, I can't. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know why I brought it up. I thought it was really stupid of me. Um, <laughs> People don't don't cancel Mitch, please. G Gianni's he's about to go. Guy. Gianni, I, I bet Gianni just clenched just then. <laughs> like he was like, "Oh my god." There you go. Yes. Okay. Um, Cross. So yeah, you could upgrade your axe too if you really, really wanted to. Um, in that little slot. Oh, but no, I think we're. Great. I reckon let's go into the caves. Let's yeah, let's it. go into the caves. Let's do it right now. Cool. So yeah, originally like I, I would um. Yep, I would recommend saving right now. Oh, well. oh okay, okay. Before you you go in there. Okay. Hey, what's up, Spartan? Welcome. Hi, Spartan. Spartan's one of our mods on, oh, on the Spartan. Discord. Welcome to the stream. I am enjoying the game very much. Um, I think I'm enjoying it much more with the guidance of Daniel. But <laughs> uh, that being said, I'm sure it would be fine without him. All right, let's do this. I believe in you, Mitch. You can do it. Okay. So, yep. um, keep going. Yeah, th exactly. Keep going this direction. And you want to you you sort of want to go like um <clears throat> bottom left yep and then travel there wait do i cross the river yeah 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 and then, come on len move those legs <laughs> this is your island oh you so can yeah, carry you the go, sword and the now. uh thing so you want to keep going left and yep. then probably grab the scrap in there yeah yeah and you, you can you can hold two things um, eventually, if you get a shield, you can also have... Can you hold two swords? Um, I don't... Th no, no Ooh, not at the moment. That needs to happen. So, you want to go up and then to the left as well? We're going up. Right. Up and to the Yep. I'll be your personal compass. Nice. And then sort of where that like dark shadowed region is, you want to go up, directly up from here. Oh, hang on. And then go to the right. But yeah, collect all the scrap while you can. Is that scrap or is that... Yeah, you should be able to destroy it. Oh, abandoned lumber cottage. No, well, maybe not. It's just Probably, a, it's just a I geometry. Think it's instanced to it, yeah. So keep going up here, and then you want to go a little bit to no, keep going straight. There you oh go. yes, all right, let's do there this. There are the keys. Let's do this. And here's another one of me splash illustrations. Death or glory. Yeah. For Narnia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happened to those movies? I don't know. I remember them being they, decent. Did they finish those movies? I guess so, yeah. Don't so. use your sword. I will absolutely be using my sword. Oh, you will get thrashed if you <laughs> if you don't use the sword in this area. You'll break um, it. Wait. Oh. So here we go. Here's the caves. And then, yeah, like, yes. if, you, if you have a look at the stone, there's um, mm, coal mm. and there's silver and stuff like that. So, yeah, yep. have fun. Mm, mm. Get wrecked, son. Uh, Silver. Metal shards. Oh, metal shards. Indeed. To slice the house, Gianni says, don't use your oh, sword. Oh, to slice the house. Gianni, that happened like two minutes ago, so... Oh. Um, <laughs> big boy out. Normal rock. Mm -hmm. Come on, Len. That looks like coal. Oh, is this coal? Is it this? Is this is yeah. coal right here. That 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 rock that you just passed. Oh, right. Little, yep. little bits of coal sticking out. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Aha. Yes. Fossil fuels. <laughs> Uh, my favorite pieces of music are probably in the caves, the uh -huh. ambience. Yeah, I really, really like what Lars has done. Mm. So yeah, just just before I came on the stream, Mitch, I was um, yep. in the caves getting some release screenshots for for the launch tomorrow, and yep. it's like it's huge, it's massive. Oh, I had to. What was I had that? to ask. Oh, we, we got cheered by ten bits. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks, Spartan. Thanks, Martin, for cheering. And, um, yeah, like, I, I had to ask Julian for a map, like a top-down view of the caves just to get my bearings. Yeah. It's like, there's so much. But um, there's a couple cool surprises in here as well. Um, and also, pro tip, so there's, like, empty lanterns over there. You can go and light it if you have oh, enough really? coal. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so if you walk up to it and just click it. Oh, yes. Oh. So, yeah, it's five coal. Per I don't minute. have enough coal. That's okay, though, because...
I got a fall. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, okay. oh, I lost that's 10 health. Okay, that's not bad. You take a little <laughs> bit of damage, but... Uh, I thought you're, you're that bad. was going to be catastrophic. Um... Oh my god, that was... That was really scary. Not about that. Oh! Use air rolls. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, here's a new meta for you. Okay, hang on. Oh, okay. Oh, almost. Possibly might change to... Oh, hello, what's this? Too far. Oh, yeah, you have to go on the other side. Oh, right, okay, uh, okay. Uh, so you can run. You can do a run, run, uh, running jump. Oh, hang on. It's Q, isn't it? Yep. You can tell. Hey, me. Monkey Nut. What's up? Oh, it's Monkey Nut. Hello. Thanks for joining um, us again. Uh, almost, almost. You can tell I'm not a keyboard and mouse player. Yeah, it took me a while to get used to it, to be honest. Okay, ready? Here we go. Yes. Hey. Oh no, I need. You know what? I'm gonna go fix this. Yeah, do it. Because I want to. And it's gonna make my life a lot easier. I'm scared for your health. Like, you don't have much health. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's okay. But it's okay. It's Figure okay. It we'll explore first. And then yep. if anything catastrophic happens, we can always just yep. go back there. Can I make a bed out here, actually? Not in this, uh, in the area right outside the caves. But, okay. What about, like, yeah, over here? I think, yeah, it'll, 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 this area should be okay. Okay, so do I have enough? But I'm, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make a bed right here because sure. I want to I want to be I want to be a safe person. That's probably a good idea. Oh, okay, there you go. Bam! There All right, go. good. And now I need this. Oh, yep. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hang on. Huh? Huh? What do I need again? Oh, the uh, flax over the. Yeah. Uh huh. Chug blueberries. Do I yeah, have those? you know, it's like it's the classic thing in Skyrim where you're fighting a dragon, you have to pause and eat 300 wheels of cheese to <laughs> get your health back up. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, yes. I think that was some. You got some lavender from that, I think. I got no, no. eyes on the prize. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Do it. I request dual wielding. I think that would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Bed? It is not. A little more, a little more. <laughs> ah. I like the uh, the follow through animation. I like. Mm, yeah. So yeah, even the swords have crits as well, and they're like much harder to pull off. Hmm. Because the, the timing is, like, really small. Monkey Nut says, I saw an artist drawing of a Diablo character with a bloated glowing stomach from the hundreds of liters of HP potions you got to quaff. <laughs> <laughs> That's what would happen. It's a side effect. Okay, here we go. Alright, there you go. There's the bed, alright. Sleep. Save. Sleep. Save. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool. Alright, now when I die, it will not be as big a deal. <laughs> That's actually probably pretty smart. Hey, this is my Minecraft experience. Hmm. Perfect bed on a plank. <laughs> Everything the body Everything needs. The body but I'm needs. sorry, monkey dog, where do you sleep? Oh god, I'm dying. Well, if you aren't exposed to the elements, are you really sleeping? Yeah, true. So terrible at this quick time event. It's okay. You'll get oh, better. Yes. Yeah. Once you once you get it once, you'll start getting it. How much did, how many resources did I need to fix that bridge? Uh I believe like 40, 40 fibers and you have an, you had enough wood. Oh okay. Alright. Fibers um, is always my problem. Yeah. Yeah, you need some some of that fibers. Dragon's blade. Whatever this thing is. Ha! <laughs> ah, ha! Ah. Well, there you go. Yeah. And not just the men, but the women and the children. Is that your favorite bit in Star Wars? No, it's not, actually. I find, <laughs> that, quite dis I find that quite disturbing. <laughs> I just quote it. 
I think my my favorite part, and this is gonna sound kind of weird, but um, it's it's my favorite part because of Ewan McGregor's acting. Yeah. But when he goes over to Padme and he tells her that Anakin killed all the younglings, right? Yeah. And then he just goes like, "I've saw, I've seen Anakin killing younglings," and he like covers his <laughs> mouth with his hand and looks out yeah. the window and trying to be really serious, but he, yeah. he doesn't care. Like you don't care for the younglings, man. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> What's my favorite part in Star Wars? Are we talking all Star Wars or just well, the main? I movies? actually think my favorite Star Wars moment is when the Millennium Falcon outruns the two Tie Fighters in the the, the new movies. Oh yeah, in yep. like the, the I really like that bit because like it's kind of like oh everyone else may have got a bit older, and but I haven't. Like it's like yeah yeah true. True. I like that bit. Like I can still. In fact, I'm better now with new technology and everything like that. Like, I, like I'm <laughs> like, you know, the Millennium Falcon is finally cool. It's literally called Millennium, so it's like yeah. all the millennials are coming back yeah. at the boomers now, right? So, um, Monkey Nut says, I guess it could be like a mattress on a plank. At least you have a bed frame. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, the Flying Spartan says a fair few testers took their time learning the crit. Uh, I like to think of it as I like to think of it like a rhythm game. Mm. Hey, okay, yep, I, yep, yep. that is That's... a good way of putting it. I like that. I like the thinking. Yep, I agree. Avender, just a little bit, a little extra reads and. But so I think you, when you can your weapons you break. Get... No, they can't. okay, good. Um, Hit it in game. I think you need break. one more fiber, and you should be good to go. Oh, I like how there's an ominous sound coming out of this. Yeah. <laughs> Over here, a good measure. They there you go. Cool. Back in the case. Right, one second. I just need to plug my iPad in. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose chat. Oh. All good. All good. So yeah, I, I guess I'll talk a little bit about this art that I did. Um, oh yeah, yeah. The sprouts, you you did. I like this one. This is very Tomb Raider. Yeah, thank you. Um, so yeah, the, like the the goal for all of the splash illustrations was to make Lynn different in each one that could be representative of you know what people might have chosen for their Lynn. Oh um, yes, I did it. First oh wow, try. nice. And yeah, so basically, yeah, oh, you, you, you only needed ten. I said forty, but oh, that's oh, all right. You, you have extra. Um, and we, we one of my main learn. inspirations for that image was the newest God of War when you go inside the caves in the mines. Oh yeah. So um yeah. And yeah, Monkey Nut, yeah, this is uh this is all the art that I've been doing lately for Lens Island. Monkey Nut also says, My favorite Star Wars bit is when the entire cast of the raid, intense and brutal Indonesian martial arts movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I love Wait, it. Storms the, the, onto the, the, the raid people. Yeah. Are in the, and they're like, yo, um, we're here in the movie. Oh, uh oh. Here we go. No, 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 no. Oh my god. That's not cool. I would switch. Yeah, there you go. Ah. Yes. Yes. What is this? Oh, you got the pickaxe. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Cool. Yes. Aha. Nice. Ninja. Nice. There you go. Oh, what was that? Oh my god, I'm dying. God. Um, the art kind of reminds me of the Sanctum 2 comic strips. Ah, oh, thank you. That's actually. That's actually really nice. I love Sanctum too. It's a really, I, really fun game. How much coal do I have? 40. I've got 40. How come I can't light this thing? Uh, press the little plus. Oh. There you go. Hey. So at, at certain points in this cave, there are um, braziers that you can light and they heal you. Okay. As well. So yeah, like if you don't have any healing items. um. Sorry, say that again. Brazier. Oh, these things? Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah, that's a... Uh, Bra brazier, brazier, Bra I don't brazier. Know how you pronounce it, but yeah, you start to heal. Oh so. my good goodness yeah. me, that is so it's like good. Dark Souls. It's the bomb. Mm. I like this. Yep. And there's more coal right there, right in front Big of you. Big fan of that. Oh, yes. I don't know why I'm way nice better. I'm way better at it when I'm mining, but the trees, yeah, nothing. Don't pronounce it wrong or you get in trouble with women's underwear. No, no not, not a brazier. Brazier? <laughs> Bra oh, brazier. no, we got in trouble with women's underwear that. last week. Uh, when we were really? Played, what happened? We played Unpacking. Goodness. Spoiler alert, there is a lot of women's underwear going on. In Unpacking? Okay. Yeah. Okay, sus. <laughs> oh, hello. This. Oh! 
80 wood. Yeah. Fix that. Okay. Um, Monkey Nut says, nice that someone put street lamps in the cave. Well, actually, I don't want to spoil anything, but... Um... Oh. oh, no! <laughs> it's okay. It's only Hang 10. On. It's go only 10. I'm going to go back over here and heal. Oh. But, um, yes. Be careful. Yep. Be careful. Definitely not a mouse and keyboard player. Um, uh, you oh, might want to switch to your sword. There's one of the, the darkness. Um, the, the 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 soulless. I mean the uh, the heartless from thing. The game. Get it. Get it. Yes. Hey. Oh, what are you gonna do now? Oh, get. Oh, wrecked. thanks for joining us, uh, Coink eighty seven. Oh, hello. Yeah. Uh, very very soon you'll be able to try it, Lens Island. Um, you will be able to try it. Very, very soon. I think we will, like, I think it's, like, under a day. It's, like, yeah, right around the corner. All right, on, let me try and do some sweet moves. Oh! Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. What are you going to do? do now? Yes! Oh, I, I took damage there. Hang on. Ooh! Oh, no! Oh, no! The risky plays. Oh, no, I'm back here. He's still there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hang so on. So, one thing that, um... The souls kind of helps me out in combat and i guess yep. this is how julian designed it too it's yep. like when you're fighting enemies like click on the actual enemies yep so yeah like uh there's a little sword icon that pops up because what i used to do right i used to click past them and have the cursor because the animation yep. would play but it's actually a lot easier if you click okay directly on them. so um, um will, this, will this stay light forever yeah lit forever <laughs> lit It'll stay lighted forever. It'll stay lighted forever. <laughs> um, oh no. Don't like that. Whilst the game was built around mouse controls, there are WASD controls. Yeah, Mitch, do you want to give the, the WASD controls uh, a shot in, in the caves? You know what? Yes, easy. I would. I would like yeah. to do that. Try it out. But um, I'm very much looking forward to the... Um, I'm very much looking forward... Space WASD. Okay. Yeah. And then now rolling is shift. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. But I'm very much looking forward to the uh, what's its face. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Um. Oh, look at that. Hey, oh, nice. No damage. I am Very good. the best at this game. <laughs> Hang on. How do you feel with the uh, WASD controls? I'm feeling a bit better, actually. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things where, like, I have a really bad habit of just getting stuck in whatever I start with. Right, yeah. So, like, now it's going to be a bit difficult for me. Which is the main reason why I don't play mouse and keyboard, because... My brain is just so, like, stuck in certain, like, affordances. Um, it's not because mouse and keyboard is better or worse. It's just that I'm stuck in the world of... Ah! Hang on. Die! Nice. You can jump on those dudes, too. Oh, you can? Or like, yeah. like, like Mario? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Goomba style. Step on it. Oh, hey, you got face. There you, you go. Got face. There you go. So that's a spawner. Oh my that's god! Where oh my god! Coming out of, so you might want to. I I hate this. Yeah, you can you can kite them around though. It's okay. Oh no, I can't. When there's fifty of them. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it was just a prank. Got, it was just a prank. It was just a prank. <laughs> All right, bring it on. <laughs> oh my god! They did so much damage to me. Oh, no! I'm dead. Brutal. Good effort though. Was it really? Yeah, you took out a couple, I think. Oh. Um, there's a Steam controller setting if you own one. Okay. Really? I don't, I don't have one of those. I have an Xbox controller, but that's okay. Right. Um, <laughs> All right, let's do this. Cool. I think I'm going to go back to mouse, just because I'm just learned to play in that. I think... Back. All right. Good. Nice. 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 Okay. okay and then a cute. Uh, 
Oh, I think Flying Spartan is one of the beta testers. Uh, is this not, if not correct? Is that correct, Daniel? Yeah, one of our mods and beta testers. Oh, thank you for following. Flying you also Spartan. made a very, very uh, wholesome community thank you video that I used in the in the documentary. That was very cool. Oh, to all see. this stays lit even though I died. Okay, that's cool. It does, yeah, yeah. So, so what lose... are the consequences of dying? What, what happened to me? Did I lose any resources? Did I just die? I think you just died. Oh, cool. And then, like, you probably lost your progression, like, where you were here. Um, yeah. Because usually you want to come back here, and, like, the further that you get in the um the dungeons, the better gear and stuff that you mm. can find or build and stuff like that, so... Yep. Yeah, and there are certain, like, bigger enemy types that I won't give away anything, yep. but, um, defeating them is pretty fun. Um, I thought mod culture died out years ago. Glad that mod style hasn't gone out of fashion. Depends where you go, I guess, on the internet, right? What's what's mod style? What, what is that? Weird ah! that Daniel would just introduce you as a mod, though. No, Flying Spawn is much more than a mod. For sure. For sure. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. Aha! Uh hmm. 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 You like that? Mod was a music movement thing. Yeah, okay. That's that's gone over oh, my head. <laughs> I don't understand, I'm sorry. Yeah, we might be a bit too young for that one. Probably. I want coal. Huh. Huh. I'm hitting these only because I'm good at the quick time event. You're getting better. And I sure. want to show everybody that I can do it. <laughs> but mainly yourself. Yeah. Now it's more everybody else. So wait, I'm gonna I go back could, and kill those things that I. I could I could kind of guide you in the um the direction of some more interesting stuff though if you want to okay. see that. Okay. Let's do it. So yeah, go back up the staircase. Yep. Or you can you can kill no, kill these guys. Okay. Do it. Do it. You you came this far. If if anything goes horribly wrong, just go back to oh, the. No. Um, I made the bonfire. something's already gone horribly wrong. Run, 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 run. Ah! They really hate you, huh? Like they, yeah. They see me rolling. I love it. All right, ready? Let's do this. Do it. Yes, yes. Nice. There you go. Okay, cool. So my my advice is um, focus on the spawner. Yep. Where they're coming out of, because if you don't, they they just keep coming out, and it's real easy to get overwhelmed. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. I gotta use my special moves too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They do way more damage. So yeah, there it is, that little spawn thingy. Oh wow, okay. Oh my god. Yep, mm. keep going, keep going. Mm. Get it. Yes! Nice! Oh, look at that! There you Two go. and one! There you go. Look at that! Mm. Um, I'm gonna yeah. break this thing as well, because I feel... Oh. Spartan says, be wary when battling at braziers. Enemies heal from them too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good yep. to know. That's good to know. Now, Monkey, you know, they might have just jumped into Mitch's sword and died instead. They might have just jumped into my... <laughs> Epic to his attack. Aura. <laughs> oh, I love the shadows and stuff that happen in, in this area. It's really cool. Okay, good. Okay, oh, so yeah, go back up the um the stairs. Oh, back upstairs. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then go go past the um the waterfall. Yep, kind of like back to where you started. Yep. <laughs> Cool. Okay, yeah. and then pass the uh, the you shall not pass bridge. Yep. <laughs> okay, and then go down. Yep, and then go left, and then kind of just follow this pathway. Ooh. Yep. So if you keep following this thing, there's a couple of cool areas here. Okay. I like lighting these, they make me feel comfortable. Yeah, I know. It's um have you played much Phasmophobia since Oh no oh, oh hang on hang on hang on. Oh here. You these guys are not that bad. Not that bad? They're squishy. They 
There you go. Yes, die. Nice. All right. But yeah, in Phasmophobia, there's this Oh my god, no, 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 the darkness are back. The heartless, I mean. Run, run. Nope, nope. We'll no, you got it. And our ground. Oh my god. Oh, this is not good. Nice. Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh, this is not good. Bam. Bam. Bam the thing. Roll. Bam. Oh, look at that. No damage. Hey. Mm. How do you like me now? You shall not pass as 20 years old. Is it? Wild. That's as old as me. Is I'm it kidding. in the I'm books not, like that? <laughs> I think Does the Does he say though, you shall not pass in the books? 2001 is when uh, Lord of the Rings came out. The book or the movie? Oh, definitely not the book. Definitely not the book. The book came out when Tolkien was, um, like, just after World War II or something, wasn't it? Uh -huh. No one reads the books, Mitch. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, hang on. I gotta really concentrate here. Yep. You can do it. Uh, well, here we go. Oh, got it. Yep. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, this boy. is not gonna go well. Oh, boy. We go. Come on. Oh, oh my god, there's two monster spawners. Oh. Wow, I'm Ugh. impressed. I'm impressed. All my button spamming. You can do it. You can do it. Oh no, not good. I'm in a corner. Go go heal, go heal, run away. No, oh, no! Oh no! Oh. I died. Good try. Well. <sighs> We've been at it a while, and I know Daniel needs to get back to actually making this game. So, actually, I, actually, bef before we do that, before um, we do that, Spawn yep. has a really, really good point. So okay, we, I want to show you the northwest of uh, of the island, which is okay. kind of an interesting spot. Let's and then do we'll, it. We'll kind of end it there. So, All right. Yeah. Wait first. Monkey Nuts asking, "How's the swear jar going?" By the How's way, how's the swear jar going? I have not called it the the. The, the P word. All stream. Mainly because I haven't said it all stream. The P word? Yeah, we're not allowed to say pixel sift anymore. Oh, right. right, right. <laughs> it's sifter. I forgot. Yeah, I forget. Okay, so go... Um, Over here? Actually, spawn. You you might know this bit like better than me, the map. Um, where's the section with the light stone? In, in this, oh, my I, house. I assume, that's, I assume that's the bit you're talking about. With uh, some some friendly people, you should say. I think it's yeah. If you keep going up here and then go left, left, yeah, or like out in the ocean. Actually, wait. <laughs> I'll tell you what I do. Um, go into the suppress so escape and go into the screenshot mode. Oh, okay. Okay, and then just move the camera down. Like, look, look down. Wait, what? Um, by pressing S. Oh, right. Oh, okay, there, right there. Go, go, go to that area. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go right there. Um, I do that to kind of get my bearings around the island sometimes. Right. Yeah. How do I exit this F again? Oh. Uh, press es es escape. Escape. All right, here we go. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Oh, here we go, here we go, we got some boys. The nice, man. nice, nice. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Oh, you got face. A lot of loot here, though. A lot of loot. Ain't gonna be here dodging. Nice. Look at you go. Oh my god, that really... Yeah, those wrong. guys pack a punch. Oh, he hits like a train. They see you don't scare me. Again. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I want to win. What the? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. God. No, 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 no. I'm, it was just this a prank. So it was just a prank. Oh my God. This, this thing is so still clutch. aggro on me. Is it still angry? I can. Oh, no. Oh, no, it still hates me. It knows me. where okay. you are. It knows where you are. <laughs> All right, hang on. How do I. I... Oh, here we go. Yeah. So drag that and then you have to replace something. Yep. yep. And then just, yep, uh, press three. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wow, that was a lot of health. <laughs> oh, no. 
That was great. So yeah, some some of the other like obviously bread heals you the most. Yep. Well, I don't have any of that. So, All right. Um, unfortunately. Right. So should I just try and get past just this guy? Just brute force it. Just try and. What I would do. Well, there's right, another what, one what up was, there. There's no way I can kill another one. What I would do as a player is kind of cheese him on the on the uh, the short line. So stay in the water and then get to the point where he can't hit you. And oh, then just okay. Keep whacking him. That's what I do anyway. But sometimes they can still hit you. So be careful. Oh. Oh no! There you go. There you go. You got faced. All right. Hang on. Let's see if I can stealth this. <laughs> nice. So yeah, a bunch of resources. I believe can I there's light? a... There's, there's got to be another one up here. Yep, there it is. There he is. Yeah, there we go. Rhino boys. They stay on you forever. Yeah. Outside. Like Eminem says. <laughs> what's they he can doing break nowadays? Boxes. Eminem? Yeah, what's he doing? Is he alright? I don't know. He just seems like real angry all the time. Yeah. Well, he's gone back to being angry. Remember he was funny for a while and... Ah! Right. I can't build- I can't kill this thing on this much health. Oh my lord. This is so unacceptable. That thing is like hauling ass yeah. trying to get to you. Look, look at the corpse. Look at the corpse of your friend. <laughs> oh, it's pushing it. No way. Let this be a lesson. It's just gonna stay on me the entire time. Does it ever not aggro you or does it just- I think it- it all- unless you die. Okay. Or if you go like really far away, but uh, as far as I know, for me to like heal it's... now here, let me go find some blueberries. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. For for like the starter bit, if you don't have like a big farm or anything, blueberries are the go-to. Yeah. For healing or the braziers, but I don't believe there's any on the mainland. I think they're all underneath. What are these? Oh, roses. <laughs> It can lose aggro, but its catch range is pretty far. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's massive. Yeah, for sure. Oh, there's a blueberry bush, I think. Right hey, there. here we are. Winning. Oh my god, somebody ate my blueberries. Another one of those memes. About with no context. Yes, yeah, yes, okay. yes it is. If Fiona were here, she would yeah, okay, understand. Yeah. <laughs> The amount of times we've been in the office and you guys just start talking and I'm just like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I know. Oh, gosh. All right. Is that enough health for me to beat yes. that angry thing over there? If you're good, I would say yes. Okay. If you're really I'm good, not. I would say you didn't need to heal at all. Maybe there's something in here. Just some metal. All right, metal big boy, let's do this. You can use your use your special moves as well. Get okay, extra hang on. damage. So w. Oh, look at that. And bam. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah. roll. Oh, it looks like it lost aggro. Yeah, lost aggro. Ah, oh, yes. Nice. And one of these. And nice. One of these. And oh my goodness. And one of these. And uh oh. Okay. Ooh, that was oh, close. look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at that. No damage. Take. Oh, there we go. There it is. Oh. You're doing really good, though. Ooh. Ooh. You can do Ooh, it. We're learning do the it. attack pattern now. Nice. No, I'm not. Hang on. There oh, we look go. Look at that. There we go. Got him. Good job. Smack all, right. all that Treasure. stuff. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got one oh, gold. gold. Worth it. Oh, more gold. Hang on. Pick up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah there you go. All right, cool. Now I can go play blackjack. Yeah. Woo! Let, I reckon. Uh, let's end it at blackjack. <laughs> oh, you want to go? You want to go play blackjack? Yeah, you got gold. Why not? We okay. might as well go and show All right. show it off. Okay, let's go. Let's go do that right now. Um, okay. He's good as pick him up. I am Bender. Please insert girder. <laughs> Remember that? Yep. Uh, I, I really want to uh, rewatch Futurama. Like, that was such a good series. I gotta walk this way, right? That's right. Any plans for fast <laughs> travel? Um, like not that I know beds? of. Not that I know of, but that would be interesting. I think the compass feature would really help out. Mm. 
As Black of Jack's yet, is there a map? Slope. Is it? Um, not currently, but there are plans to. Oh, wasn't that far. Get a map. And uh, which to... I will, I will have to do the art for. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> we get to see another excellent splash screen. Hey, what's up, Viv? Welcome. Oh, it's Viv. Color Supply. Hey, Viv. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Um. Okay. So yeah, go go speak to Lucky Jack and let's lose the Lucky lose that Jack. Goal. There's kind of a map in the decorations of the main island. Yeah, there is. Yeah. So that's a, it's a building item, but um, you can't interact with it. All right, currently. there he is. Let's do this. All right, ready? All right, here we go. It's here up to go. you how much you want to wager. I All would probably say one. All of it at would... once. Are you sure? Yes, I'm gonna win. Okay. Uh. Oh come Ooh. on. <laughs> um. Risky. It's up to you. It's up to yeah. you. Yeah. Shit. Is that? <sighs> Wait. That's one, or is that? What is it? High. Does it go to high or low? Why is know. it like this? Oh my god. <laughs> How many gold coins do I have? Ten. You have one oh, more if you shit. fail this. You only have one if you fail. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Come on! This is the worst. This is the worst blackjack hand in you're, the history. I mean, you're really close to twenty-one. This sucks. You're really, really close to twenty-one. It's up to you, but lucky no, no, jack there's, is no, kind there's of a... no, no, there's no way I can be lucky again. Five and under, he wins. I mean. Day. We'll see. Oh, hey! I won. Nice. Suck it, Lucky Jack. You have to get a new name. I like how his nice. I like how his nice, tooth nice, is gold nice. and he's got like a his gold U is here. Yep. Yep. That is that was that your your doing, Daniel? Was that uh not that did specifically, you do that? but I, okay. I did give him a gold tooth. Oh Lucky so think, Jack, you're going down. Julian might have reacted to that. Um there's no five and under rule. No, I Max think this is a very like, rudimentary. Yes, rudimentary. deal it. Oh god. It. Oh! Oh, there we go. Stay. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, he's got 21 as well. Oh god. Now what happened? Interesting. I actually don't know. Oh no, I guess it's just a Oh, tie. right, 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 right. Just restart. Ooh. Oh, we gotta do this. Okay, stay. Oh, nice. I won. Okay, yeah. Dude, you're doing really well. I normally like so this is how you so this is how you win in Lens yeah. Island, huh? You just say, yep, yep, yep. Hey, hang on, With Max that money, bet. you you could you could go buy some stuff. I mean, we both know I'm not. You could... um, <laughs> Eighteen. Ooh. Dealer doesn't win on a tie as generous. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's usually he knows he's gonna get stabbed yeah. if he if he does anyway. So. Oh, I lost. Oh. No. Don't worry. You only lost 10. Play some blackjack. Max bet. Heal. Do it. Oh, you gotta hit that. You definitely... Oh, maybe not. Oh. Maybe not. I Okay, that that's me pushing the wrong button, actually. That's... <laughs> um, max bet. You should be able to bet more. Um, yeah, you should it, do, like, all your gold. Oh, my God. Uh, why does it do this? I swear I saw you both get oh, seven lost. diamonds before. No. Yeah, we'll have a look. We'll go back and have a look and see if that's. Oh, what what are we going back to look at? If uh, you guys both had seven diamonds. Ooh. Oh, you got a. Oh, I'm gonna stay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, oh no, it. that was me losing. Yeah. Oh no. You got blackjack. That's what I'm saying. This, this yep. guy is really cheesy. He's gonna get me. Hang on. <gasps> the poor private would. Would go broke with the players that have 20k it, gold. Oh I, shit. There was no limit. No. And now you got two gold. Okay, two gold. Let's do this. Can we get our, can we get our money back? Max bet. Only Yield. two. This is it. This, this is, is it. This is how to not play blackjack, by the way. Everybody's yeah. watching. This is not how you be, do it. Definitely be reasonable. Shit. <laughs> App, and you lost it. You lost everything. All right. Brutal. Well, on that unbelievable failure, as is how we usually handle things here on Stifter. Um, yeah. <laughs> losing all our gold. I think I'm about to kill this pirate. Um, thank you very much for joining us. This has been 
Lens Island, and uh, earlier we were joined by the lead developer, Jillian Ball, and the entire thing by the artist and developer of Lens Island and social media person and documentary maker, Daniel Lang. <laughs> um, it so feels weird to be part of Sifter and then also like on the outside of Sifter. As well. So full disclosure, we do realize that Daniel Ang is, we acknowledge that Daniel Lang is part of Sifter and we're interviewing about a game. Um, mm -hmm. Full disclosure, that is the relationship that we have uh, while making this content. Uh, so we've covered ourselves now and everybody knows that that happened. I did it at the beginning of the video as well. And yeah. um, just to keep everything uh, just to keep everything up in the open, a copy of Lens Island was provided to us by Jillian and Daniel uh, for the making of this video. So thank you very much uh, to Jillian and Daniel for providing uh, the video, uh, the access to the game early. Um, but if you want to experience it for yourself, the uh, the demo is available right now on Steam, or the entire game will be available on Steam in about twenty four hours. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, yeah, sounds about right. Which is the um, which is the twenty sixth. Yep, that's right. Twenty sixth November, twenty twenty one. If you're watching this after the fact, um, thank you very much, chat. Uh, for joining us, and thank you, Daniel, once again for joining us. And uh, my you. name is Mitch from Sifter. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. Bye. See ya.